Traveltronic.com. Welcome, travelers, to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier. Wow, they end so promptly. What a well you guys. behaved audience. Well done. They're in sync. They're excited like, for Bigfoot. I think so. They're excited for what are we going to do? What are we about to get, Garrett? Sasquatched. 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 Oh, you know what? I have the wrong hat on. Oh, you got a squatch hat. That's yeah, right. Yeah, you got a squatch hat. Put that squatch hat. Let's get squatched on the Oh, noggin. I want to wear a hat now. I feel left out. I, are you a cave woman? I want to wear a hat now. Yeah. Do you have yeah. a squatch hat? <laughs> you guys see well, what it says, is right? that a squatch hat? Your Neff hat? Yeah, this is a. It says wood booger. Oh, I don't. Look at I that. Don't have any wood boogers? That's amazing, Sounds right? Like splinters. Got squatch He's doing the. He's doing the freaking. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, we got doing, the footage too. We'll he's show. doing the squatch. He's doing the squatch. Yeah. Got the right head on now. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have a very special episode, uh, uh, requested by a lot of people. Yes. I'm still not sure, but we're going to go over some stuff. I'll even play a couple of videos uh, that uh, I found back in the day. Uh, but we're going to focus on military sightings of Sasquatch and uh, some other stuff. What's up, Garrett? Hey, what's up? I, I, I'm excited to talk about this because uh, a viewer recommended this book a long time ago, almost a year ago at this point. And I went out and got it. And this book is really, really cool. It doesn't just have Sasquatch stories in it. It has a ton of uh, military accounts of paranormal activity. So ghosts, uh, weird witches, skinwalkers, uh, Sasquatch, all kinds of stuff. It's a very fascinating book. It's really, really cool. Uh, so thank you for suggesting that out in the chat. What, what was the book uh, title? It is name? Tales from the Grid Square, Volume 1. Nick Orton. Hell yeah. So go ahead and get it. It's really cool. It's packed. It is packed. With Check it out. Check it out. What's up, Adam? What's going on, guys? It's good to be here. I kind of, I was under the weather all last week. Uh, I am feeling better, which is great. And I'll be honest, of all the things that we've talked about that have been very intriguing, this is I I'm like the least impressed with what I've found. Like the more I dug, the the less I believe this was a real thing. Everything led down to the the end of it was a hoax, and this guy made it up, or it was a guy dressed in a whatever. And I'm just like, I haven't seen anything amongst all the things that I that I've found that I'm gonna bring up everything was just kind of debunked and i'm just like i don't i don't know i, I don't think bigfoot's a thing most I'm of yeah, most of the videos I'm a, I'm a skeptic they don't live up the videos yeah. themselves yeah i would follow dave politis uh his missing 411 he's like got the most convincing stuff yeah uh he he's, he does class he does like a a bigfoot class is or it did Bigfoot one? That, I mean, that's the missing four one one and Bigfoot. Is there a connection, or is well, it just that's what led him. He that's what initially got him into the whole missing four one one thing, and the missing four one one thing came out of his Bigfoot investigating, and uh, oh, okay, it took him right. down a different path. He's still oh. open to it. I'm pretty sure. I haven't. I mean, I haven't talked to the guy, so I don't know. But he definitely like. Oh, this is. It might be something far weirder. You know. I think um, it is. 
I think it I is too. And I, I, is, but... I'm not convinced. I, you know, I went back and forth on it. I'm not convinced, but it's fun to talk about, you know, and it's part yeah. of the, if, if you're in Northern California, it's definitely part of the culture and uh, not San Francisco. That's not even Northern California. It's actually technically <laughs> you're Central talking about California. out in the woods, we're talking about the, the woods area, yeah. in the North. San, uh, in know. San Francisco, they have sass squatches. They have Sasquatch. Uh, yeah. Sass well, they're, they're not scary sass. at all. They have a they're lot not, of bears. No. They, they have, have a lot of bears. For San Francisco. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Unprecedented amount of bears there. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what's up? Exode Agu. Hi. Um, after earlier, we were talking backstage before we started. And I don't know, I was talking about something that happened, something creepy, and music came on. So I think Bigfoot's like stalking me right now. Mm. Uh, maybe hear any that old wood well was it sasquatch or sasquatch you might not have anything to worry about so like i i think it's the real did you hear snapping <laughs> no. you hear three snaps in the woods Z formation. <laughs> no no snapping so i, mm. I think i'm right. good like honey you've got split ends mm. <laughs> <laughs> girl, you should we come to my salon. You up. It's in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> the woods. <laughs> yes. See how oh. I do my hair. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of in the camp with Adam, where I'm not a, I'm not very sure. Although there's some interesting stuff with like a government sometimes that comes up, and you're like, hmm, what are they trying to hide? As per usual, yeah. what are they yeah, trying to hide? Uh, the chat asked a question. Everything. Uh, Mark is Bigfoot. No, he's only foot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm here oh, all week. You, you can he hear can him coming, foot. okay? <laughs> clunk, clunk. Shh. Also, sounds like a scary movie about to happen too. To be honest. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'll crack myself up. Hey, what are we going to start with, Garrett? Uh, hmm. Also, well, I got a lot of stuff. We all kind of did some research, and um, why don't we start with like the origin of yeah, Bigfoot? That's a, that's a great starting spot. I feel like in my research, I saw a lot of lore with the natives and stuff. I think as far back as late 1800s. Oh, wow. Okay, where like people had sightings, but of course. The, how can you be 100% sure with the records if that is true or not? I'm sure there probably were more sightings, but it seems most of them are concentrated like west coast of the United States and Canada. Now, Canada calls it Sasquatch. I think the U.S. calls it Bigfoot. Am I right with that? Yeah, and then there's the Yeti. Okay, so, Yeti. so there's... there's stories going back hundreds of years with multiple cultures around the world. In uh, in North America, South America, Asia, China, China, hmm. China. I didn't realize there were so many in Texas. If this and, and if the darker and Florida, yeah, that's yeah. surprising. Actually, yeah, I just, in a, Illinois. Hmm. What, what's up, Illinois? Huh? That's yeah, random. the the word Sasquatch it comes from the a Salish word mis uh, that's pronounced Sasquatch. It's S A S Q apostrophe E T S, meaning wild man or hairy man. Mm. So okay, that's my theory on it. Like I, I'm kind of with you guys. I, I don't know if it is legitimately a paranormal monkey man that can do all these crazy things. I, it, it might just be mountain men that have just lived in the in the forest, right? Yep. It's so like, like that guy, so that guy in, in like Tibet that never showered. Th they have a look. Ever. He, they just, definitely yeah, they, have they, a look. he looked like a mountain man. They become kind of feral, right? And these these people yeah. 100% exist. We have uh, homeless people that kind of turn into those things, but they're in the city. <laughs> Imagine True. that you're out in the forest, you're you're foraging every day, you're you have nobody, you're not talking to people. You become yeah. kind of a feral person. So I think that's probably adding to a lot of the these stories. You're hearing random things when you're out in the middle of the woods camping or hunting. It could just be another person out there that's just living so off the land. There's one theory that was brought up by multiple people that it was uh, a descendant of a gigantopithecus. Gigantopithecus. Big, yeah. 
Okay, and that but is, it doesn't stand upright though. Yeah, they do actually. It's well, they really? do, but they don't walk around upright. No, they're a giant so, gorilla. It, it is a it's yeah. a gorilla, right? Um, and basically like a megafauna. And then there's others that don't agree with that. They think that it's more human humanoid, which then they think it's a pair. I wrote it down, Paranthropus, which is a more of a hominid type that's still covered in hair. Um, and I mean, I don't know if I I agree with that. I I still don't. Just really throwing it out that, there. It's all right. Yeah, I just wanted one of one of the beliefs is that that's the 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 lineage. Like they're not Homo sapiens. They're actually yes. like a different um, type of animal. Yeah. So apparently, I, I like is, is, is is more of a, a not a Homo sapien, but like a Homo paranthropus, basically. I, I I'm not against the idea of something like that. I, I just think it would be very hard for a species that's that. To stay advanced hidden. or to stay it hid hidden for is it that advanced? big but well you know, i mean advanced yeah. like uh the like argument it's, a, it's, a it's brought up bipad. a lot about you know gorillas in the mist mm -hmm. you know that movie mm -hmm. like sigourney weaver was in it and it was about the first no. woman to find the mountain gorillas and they had never been seen oh, okay. by western yeah. let's make that clear western scientists and stuff they have been definitely been seen by others but uh mm. what uh and you know I, there's something to that again like uh, I fall. Uh, I don't believe in Bigfoot. I, it'd be cool, but mm -hmm. but I will point out that, and I've talked about this before. I lived in California, you know, most of my life. Never saw a mountain lion. They're everywhere. That's always They're a great freaking example. everywhere, and I've never right. seen one. Yeah, seen so, their yeah, tracks. I'm not. Ag I'm not against the idea of, of an animal that's lived on that we just don't have written down yet well, it's just i, I know it's a know, great example but also mountain lions have fur that blend into the environment really well as opposed to bigfoot which are big furry humanoid creatures like well they're, they're or, i mean well known the images that it, i've seen yeah but if you're in the northern california forest it's oh, well, hard like, to you know see look anything. at this yeah. You know, yeah. this this does this is blending into the trees kind of if you don't know that this is actually a Sasquatch on my Dude, I've seen coyotes like in downtown San Francisco. Oh I, yeah, I've seen coyotes and <laughs> maybe maybe the Sasquatches are now blending in with the homeless people. Maybe they just shaved. Maybe, maybe. they figured out they just shaved, you know. Like what if I just like, shave the top of my cheek? <laughs> they, they won't know. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a very good reason. <laughs> <laughs> why why humans have these these stories right so uh, there's a great we always talk about it. the y files did a great video about um kind of the beginning origins of uh, homo sapiens and neanderthals and how neanderthals mm -hmm. possibly could have been these massive ape-like people that are just vicious like sasquatch right like that possibly some of the interpretations of sasquatch and bigfoot uh, so some of the stories from native tribes, kind of uh, the distant memory of the past of well, these giants that were the giants. Yeah. Yeah. Bipedal and that were vicious and huge and smelled bad and you need to stay away from them. We also have this innate fear of the dark. It's and... no way to talk about drunk 3PO, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, I love them anyways. Uh, right. We have this innate fear of the of the dark. Because when we were living in tribes, if you went out in the in the dark, there's massive animals out there that could kill you. There's all these things to fear that are that's out there. So we have these kind of in built in fears, and uh, I think also with our periphery, the way it works, it wants to like see if there's any movement. So I imagine if you're out in the woods a whole lot, you might see more stuff because you're your periphery is kind of going, Hey, what's that over there? What's that over there? And you kind of have that. You want to see that there's a person when, you, when something looks like a person, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uncanny like Valley, when you see right? a face, when you see a face, you like identify that face. So if there's something that looks like a face or like the silhouette example, of a person. Actually. So this, let me bring, actually it, I don't know if it's easier for me to share this or, you can share it. uh, which was it? Photos. I got, um, I got your photos. Yeah, yeah, it's the one that's Be just careful. Like trees. It's just, just trees. It's the right folder, like tree it. tops. <laughs> yeah, he's always sending it's me these photos. Because there's there's three photos that I posted, and one of them zoomed in. One of them's like this one. Okay, so 
you could see they they were like, oh, we caught Bigfoot. He's in the tree, and you can kind of see it. It's like mm-hmm. to the left in the middle of the picture. It looks like he's kind of something's like kind of sitting there. Yeah, right. Yeah, that looks like so. Well, when I'm looking at that, I'm like, I've been out. I don't know how many people have like walked out in in areas like this when All the, the time. light changes. It it like. Mm-hmm. The environment around you can look completely different. Rocks yep. can look yep, like right. things. Like to me, this just looks like, um, you know, some rocks in the background. Some the way the shadows are, yeah. are resting. Could be a down tree or something. And yeah, and they had experts acknowledge this. And, and this is from 2020 in California, and the, everyone was raving like, "Oh, we got a picture of it!" But an expert looked at it and it's like, "No, this is probably just an optical illusion." Mm-hmm. Just kind of what Garrett was saying. That looks like, you know, Uncanny Valley. It's like when when the human mind sees something that's human like, we we right. we like we recognize add, it. add more to it. Right. Exactly. We see more human than it actually is. But then when you actually like look at it and it, the it breaks, you're like, oh, okay, I can right. see that it's not a human now. It's not it looks more like a Michael Myers to me than a Sasquatch anyway. It looks like he's wearing a thick sweater, like a really thick right. sw- sweater. But yeah, yeah it, but I, I think I there's a think lot. It's anything. I think a ton of it is because of that. Is because mm-hmm. our human brains want to see: is there a danger in that direction? What is that? Is it a person? Right. Uh, they're they're filling in the blanks in the dark. Right. Uh, there's definitely some weird stuff going on in the woods. Like we've done the missing four one one. Yeah. A bunch of weird things happening in the woods, but that could also just be natural things happening. Well, speaking of, you do have a recording of something that happened oh. in the woods. Then this is your recording, right? No. Gar- Garrett? Okay, I'm going to do Sierra. No, well, this Wait, is something that I, I heard. Wasn't it, wasn't you, were, weren't you out in the woods and you, you uh, something came after you? Oh, oh. That yeah, was it. Not. That was it. <laughs> no, I haven't played it yet. Okay. So, uh, Gary, you, you found this one. You want to talk about it? You want to set it up? All right. Ron Moorhead uh was famous he was uh featured you know on art bell in the past and he got uh sasquatch recordings i believe in the 70s correct me if i'm wrong chat a lot of this i'm going off of memory which is not very good let's be real um and uh yeah he recorded uh quite a few uh bigfoot sounds uh and i believe he would like it wasn't by accident. Like he he set out to go find them. Are they fake? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they've they've supposedly had linguist ex- experts uh, go over these. Um, made for a great Art Bell show. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, made yeah. for a fantastic Art Bell show. Uh, so uh, why are there no 4K recordings of a Bigfoot? Why are there no 4K recordings of a of a UFO? UFO. Although, um, on the UFO front. I, like a couple days ago, I really went over that, uh, that, uh, I think it's, she was Latina, the Latina model who was in the plane and she caught that UFO that just went by the plane. That was fucking good. I haven't seen it. That is crazy. That crazy. Uh, it's flying the right direction. It looks like a damn 1950s flying. It looks like a flying, it looks like Bob Lazar's flying saucer and it's wow. flying the way he said it would. You got to post, like, you gotta post that. Uh, we'll I, post I would it love later. to see yeah, that. We'll, um, we'll, we'll, I we'll think take a look at it later. Story. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 this is why I think there's a lot of shit because I think in modern day we have enough people going out, especially with GPS. So it was believable in the 70s or 80s, but now almost every hiker with a fucking brain has GPS and you can go pretty deep into the woods. Now, yeah. to be right. fair to Bigfoot, we still have like not covered... Uh, th- there's a lot of Northern California that no human being has True. ever been in, ever yep. been in, and they would be safe there. They would be absolutely safe there. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm totally not convinced. But um, yeah, and yes, I've uh, uh, Lloyd Pie does have some good videos. Of the late Lloyd Pie has some good video. I might I might dig that up. Uh, Hoopa Chalupa. But but uh, so so um, Ron Moorhead and Al Berry uh, got, recorded these sounds. Now you're going to hear some closer to the microphone sound. That that's I think that's Ron Moorhead trying to like, call back to them. Replicate. Yeah. Oh, 
So that's Ron. Pause it for a second. Now, like in the, it's a, some of this sounds like language. Uh, so it could be uh, a total fake, and somebody out there in the back just go, you know, chalk and talk right. and gibberish. That's what but, I think. Um, that's what I think it is. I mean, that's what you got to think, you know. But I, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. There's, but you, there's you, another, there's a few others. Actually, I posted a video as well with a timestamp. Yeah. Um, you and also it has three different sound clips, and it's just like it's just, all just sounds so fake to me. No, it's like I, I can hear a human making these sounds. I will say I I have heard weird shit in the woods. I canoed What did it sound uh, like? What it, did it sound like, Garrett? I did I'm, do it. Do the sound. Oh. Oh. Kind of like that. A little bit like okay. that. You just mm -hmm. wanted them to make that sound. I did. <laughs> uh, so I, I, heard, I you ever I heard a screech a owl? Screech owl sounds like a sound like a Nazgul. <laughs> They're so I, I I used to canoe a lot, like with my brothers and whatnot, and in uh, northern Arkansas, which is some of w the locations where they have these reportings. And I heard the weirdest sound. And look, I'm not I'm not a hunter. I haven't spent a ton of time out in the middle of nowhere, but I have some, and I've never heard anything like what I heard in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere. Like literally, n there I couldn't get signal. There was no lights or anything. Oh yeah, that's how I that's how I got all these kids. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, but it sounded oh, it. It similar works. to this. <laughs> it, it didn't sound like like a uh, some kind of language. It just sounded like uh, something big because it was bouncing off of the sides of the the, the cliffs that were on the sides of this uh, this river. So mm. I I don't I can't explain what it was. And I went back and I, I, when I got home, I tried to find, is it the sound of any local wildlife, like a, like the deer there? Do they make weird sounds? And I could not find that sound. And it was similar to this, but it didn't sound like it was language. It just sounded mm -hmm. like it was just a guttural, like yell. And that's actually something in some, in a few of these stories, it's a very similar thing. Along with the smell, I didn't have the smell because it sounded like it was way too far away. But uh, the 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 yelping, the the yowl or uh, screech in the distance, very similar. Where were you when this happened? I know you said the middle of nowhere. But... I was in the Buffalo River in northern Arkansas. Okay. Like there's a there's some mountain ranges there, and there's a river that runs. A lot right of Bigfoot sightings there. Right there. Mm -hmm. So that that's what I heard. I, it was. Very weird, and I couldn't explain it, but who knows? I mean, I don't know all mm -hmm. the animals in the world, so maybe that's uh, explainable, but it was very a strange A lot of people me. are saying coyotes in chat, and I, when I was... Yeah. I've heard coyotes. I've heard coyotes. I, I lived in the... I grew up around coyotes. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. When, when I, I, I grew up... Well, I lived around coyotes in Arizona, and they yeah. would come around, and they're yappers, and mm -hmm. they make all sorts of different weird sounds. It was not that. It was not that. No. I lived. It, I lived in the country... Yeah. Um, I grew up in the country. There was tons of coyotes all over the place. It was not that, not even close. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I couldn't. Yes, explain coyotes it. can sound like demons. Chat. Absolutely. Oh yeah, they sound. Oh my god, it's scary. crazy. Yeah. Especially when yeah, you have like a pack of them and there's a bunch sound. of them, they're or they so annoying. They just. I would uh, yell at them. Like, they just gave the birth of a litter. Like there's little ones yipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah the little when the little ones start yipping, that's when it sounds like demons, like little demon yeah, there's goblins just like laughing. A ton of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you bring up that that video that I posted with the timestamp? Yeah. It's like seven minutes. What it, I don't know exactly. Uh, seven minutes see, forty. Put it in research. Yeah, in research. You know, I think we solved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. Bigfoot it's is manly. <laughs> Show's over. It's actually the silverback. Yep. Okay, let yeah. me get this out here. You said seven minutes in. Seven forty-five. 
and they do there's there's three different recordings but they play all three of them i believe at this moment and uh i just the first one is the most language like it's okay. i don't know i just you guys got to hear it for yourself this is just uh history channel did has done a bunch of different okay here you go three phrases first god has been examines the guttural sound <laughs> Next, the whooping. The second has these low to high up sweep. That's the one. Is that it? It Garrett? sounded exactly like that. Oh. Like that so whooping. It, yeah. whoop, whoop, that, whoop, whoop, that sound whoop. is some of what uh, Moorhead got, too. But yeah, I've, I've heard that in other videos, too. So. And finally, the chatter. And... Those well, that's just the same. That's, from, in the that's from Moorhead. That's, that they actually that, that is. recording is from Moorhead. Oh, okay. Yeah, I still don't believe any of it, though. I mean, I it just that. it just feels like all of these can. If if some yeah. someone's just having a fun time trying to make weird sounds and then recording them, there's another instance of uh, that's all for this video. But there's there's another instance of a weird sound being played, and the guy recorded it and then like sent it in and then it got to someone like this guy who was analyzing it and he was like you know what it sounded familiar to me and i had recently just been doing this research on what sounds dinosaurs make and i found this scientist who actually reproduced the sound based on the technology that they were able to like look at what the dinosaurs vocal cords were like and there's this t-rex sound and he was like I'm going to go back and he found it and he compared it and it was the same exact thing. He found it and it was like the the Bigfoot sound was actually the recording of this T-Rex reproduction oh. sound and like they were trying to make it seem like it Interesting. was okay. know, Bigfoot but it was actually just this recording that was made. Well, was that's a, it was freaky that, sound. I'm going to go to the woods with the boombox and just play T-Rex sounds. <laughs> probably freak people out. Yeah. They'll think it's Bigfoot. Yeah, say anything out there. I'll just play T-Rex. Well, I live on the edge of the woods, and I haven't heard anything weird yet. And I chat will know what I'm my ears, my ears open. Are there any Sasquatch recordings in your neck of the woods? No. Nope. Okay. No, not that I know of. But the, someone know. told me there's aliens in my woods, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Keep, need to watch. keep my eye on the skies. Yep. I don't know if they'll be able to hear the motorhome audio because it plays so low on on Streamyards. Because mm. um, their their audio is fantastic. Their audio is just great. It's the best. It's absolutely yeah. the best. <laughs> uh, we might play uh, that later. Pretty it it's pretty, pretty low. It's pretty fucking low, and I don't think they'll be able to hear it. So we could probably just tell you what was the name of the video. It is Bigfoot screams longest audio in the world? Yep. So, uh, long. family breaks down in a motorhome in Northern California in the middle of nowhere, and it almost sounds like dogs barking, but it's not. Hmm. And, uh, you don't see anything, it's just them recording with night vision on, and they're hearing sounds outside. Now, whatever the hell it was, that would be freaky as shit. Um, but, oh, uh, man. I went as far as to drive out there <laughs> one day because <laughs> like, I want to go check it out. I uh, didn't see anything, but it's in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah. In the middle of nowhere. Like no cell reception, middle of nowhere. Speaking of noise, somebody sent us all, by the way, I've got one for each of you because they sent, they 3D printed uh, Aztec death whistle. Glad you were able to get those to us. I heard about those. Yeah. Right from what is so this is a small yeah. version. They're supposed to be Someone like in chat. bigger. But yeah. uh, let's hear it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. That's it. It's loud. Yeah. Wow. And Ooh. it works. Everybody okay at home? <laughs> yeah. That's scary, so, though. Could you imagine? Someone just died that? somewhere. Just yeah. They sound terrifying. I, I, there's videos out there of uh, mm -hmm. 3D printing is cheating. Yeah. Use real skulls. Yeah. Posers. <laughs> <laughs> skulls of your enemies the skulls of your enemies yes hell yeah <laughs> uh okay so the military aspect comes in what i've found is most of these stories are in north america so they're not abroad they're not in in wartime or anything like that it's when they're on their their uh, training 
sports and they're that's where they see them there it's usually a guard that's it's patrolling at night or they're out doing a, a military exercise and they see something or they hear something uh, they're very similar uh, the way that they kind of unfold it, it's they smell something they might hear something and then a massive figure is is in a place it shouldn't be they think it's somebody else there's a there's a story in here where they think it's a they're out doing a military exercise and uh they're kind of hunkered down and they see this silhouetted figure this massive figure that's moving way too fast and they think okay that must be the commander he's just getting ready to see us ambush they're he's going to observe and then after their exercise they go over to that spot and compared to the trees there's no way it was a, a human it was way too tall and they even tried to have the commander retrace those steps across that same spot and they were like this is not even the same person um so there's a lot of the those kinds of stories mm. uh and it all all over uh i think it was fort campbell um what was, what was the other one brag there's one story in canada there's one in canada yeah patterson air air base mm -hmm. air force base mm -hmm. so uh, it, it's ohio it is yeah, interesting ohio. that they they also line up with that map the the sightings map uh, it's all north america stuff up? yeah the, the north american sightings yeah Yeah, people were saying trolls. That that's the thing in in Sweden. Bunch of trolls. Yeah, Ohio's pretty dark. I guess a lot of, and then Michigan is a hot spot as well. And yeah, it makes sense. It's near water. And it's yeah, usually when the they're spots. in the middle of nowhere. Oh, well, Colorado, kind of dark. Kind of in the landlocked right there. Mm -hmm. A lot of rivers, but. Yeah. Huh. So I have a story. Um, supposedly, according to someone who was on uh, in in this squad of commandos, um, were sent out. The U.S. Army tracked a family of Big Bigfoot before murdering them and taking them back to a base for examination. This is what they're claiming. Okay. Um, it was from this movie. It's called A Flash of beauty it's a documentary alleging this uh, that a team of special forces carried out this killing close to patterson air base in ohio and uh, it was because they they said that the the, the bigfoot team or the, the family of bigfoot was getting too close to some sort of military op that they were working on so they were deemed dangerous and they sent a squad out to take them out the Bigfoots were getting too close to the aliens. Maybe. <laughs> Can't have that, Maybe. man. They were about to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I found that really interesting. Yeah. Um, well, that's that's the big question, Adam. Like, somebody would have had to kill one by now. We don't want one dead. I, I Honestly, I'd right. rather them be left alone and still be alive. But somebody right. will have to kill one. And you think that would have happened already? with all the hunters right. out there and mm -hmm. yeah the bigfoot are known for being you know really stealth hard to you know photograph hard to catch but like a bullet would eventually catch one of them you would think well and just photographers like nature photographers yeah. they'll sit in a spot for a week or hunters will sit in a in a hive trail cams for, you know or trail cams you know whatever well supposedly trail cans have caught them so supposedly. supposedly but like supposedly you know there's for okay so bring up the the picture that i have of that's like magnified in the middle this is a trail oh. cam this is from michigan all right it's from 2016 and it's actually uh, detroit lions fans very happy today an, an eagle are oh, they still cam. doing good all right so uh, this is actually the championship so, sorry oh, go oh, on. cool no that's all right so this this shot here is you're looking at an eagle's nest now this 
center circle, if you look at the top right of the screen, you could yeah, you could see it zoomed in on this, right? So this is a trail cam, and you could see that this figure moves in. There's actually video of this. This is just I just took a still of this so we could talk about it. And you could see this thing coming in and looking like it's forging, just kind of like rummaging through things, looking it actually looks up at this eagle's nest and then moves off camera. Can you um, can you pull up the video? Um yeah, let me see if I can find it. I might yeah. have posted it uh in here. It does it does it walk like does it look like it's walking upright? I mean, because all like that's what yeah, it, it, question it definitely is. it definitely shadow looks people. looks upright for sure. Um, oh, I think it was a different. I'll, I'll have to. I'll, I'll yeah yeah go ahead yeah, but finish um, your story. Well, you know the they had an expert come in and analyze the the way that this thing was moving, and they're like, it, it looks like a biped for sure it's you could see the arms moving um but they're like we we think it's just a human that just dressed up because there's no nothing making it i mean mm -hmm. supposedly bigfoots do climb trees to like get food uh like probably eggs or birds young birds like who knows like that's what they say that they they do climb trees uh, and in a different documentary, the other picture that that we already looked at, the uncanny valley rock looking whatever, right. they're saying it's not unusual for them to climb trees if they are going to eat. Uh, they're going to forage everything, which includes birds' nests, uh, and they're really strong, so that climbing a tree for them would be really easy. Um, but this this video, um, they were like, yeah, it's probably a, a human that's walking through there. So it's like this is the only time, the only trail cam. That I've seen, although it was a, it was a live feed, that people were like, "Whoa, what's that?" And you know, the Bigfoot yeah. community went nuts. A yeah, suit? so it could yeah. have been but a that, fake. Yeah, I, exactly. It could easily be. Uh, we know where this trail cam is. We know people are gonna watch it. Let's yeah, exactly. put on a suit and walk past, and yeah, make our eagle cam. Right. You know, get more viewers. That's what I'm thinking. Or just some random person that goes, "Oh, I'm gonna mess with people that are watching this." Yeah, I mean, it could have been all of those things for sure. Or it could have been a Bigfoot or a shadow person or an alien or. Uh... Yeah, I think that's the thing that, that's that most interesting to me is is how. How this story, how this mythical creature has kind of perpetuated in our culture, even before, you know, you get the Gimlin footage and that's kind of where the Bigfoot specifically that story kind of came out of, but we've had stories like X-Ray Girl said earlier, there's Native American stories with with Bigfoot. There's um, Chickasaw mythical creatures that are Bigfoot related. A lot of the same kind of pinpoints uh, of that theme that kind of uh, persist through through time. So that's what's really interesting to me. I don't know if it's, you know, again, I don't think it's a, it's a crazy upright ape man that can go through portals and uh woo your your video. wives out into the into the forest but i think there's definitely <laughs> something weird happening We're coming for your wives <laughs> there's, there's a the lot of weird sounds the timestamp in the private chat okay so actually we could just watch this, this clip here of this thing walking by yeah six six minutes 20 seconds Yeah, every every example that I I know, you know, the military, uh, I, I everything that I saw with the military. I mean, there was one where the FBI and the CIA have a Bigfoot file, and then I and they're like, well, what is it? And it's like, oh, well, a hunter found some fur that the hunter couldn't identify, and they sent it in, and yeah. the CIA was like, all right, we don't normally do this, but sure, whatever. And it was like, yeah, okay, it turned out to be a deer. That's just deer fur. Mm -hmm. It's like, of course, right? Yeah, so that's th another that's big their, thing. There's been file. no, there's been no Bigfoot DNA found, bones, bodies. I mean, the same could be said about aliens, right? I mean, but that's I, I guess that what when I think about the differences, like advanced one's technology, an advanced uh, thousands of exactly. years advanced and uh, and beyond right. our purview. 
um, or a different dimension. A dimension. Di- maybe I Bigfoot's. I, maybe Bigfoot. That's what people I, say. I have the Bigfoot? ability to go yeah. through dimensions. Hey, maybe they do. Maybe. The, the, maybe that's like, just maybe like it's... an. Maybe that's like snapping their fingers. They don't. You need can't like a technology. You to can't do deny it. the stories from multiple cultures around the world. Exactly. For right. hundreds, thousands right. of years, you you can't. That, that so. Um, shit. Are the same people seeing the same hallucination? Same making the same mistakes. Yeah, uh, she knows. Don't, don't know what it's from. Don't know what it's from. All right, here we go. People keeping a keen eye on their safety from home begin to notice something very strange in the corner of the screen. The video shows some sort of unidentified creature roaming around the base of the nest. It looks like the beast is foraging back and forth, but just so we don't get copyright hit. Right, right. I mean, it looks like a person. It, looks- it does look like a person. Yeah. Neat the trees. Definitely like beetle. The creature even turns its head up towards the eaglets. We've pushed in so you can get a closer look. It looks like a Sasquatch. We might, yeah. <laughs> it, it looks. <laughs> Does it though? It looks I mean, like a Sasquatch. I mean, sure. I, I, it could be a bear. Sure. <clears throat> could be a mountain man. Field Do bears clip- walk on their hind legs? I know they stand up. Uh, and like look. I think black bears can. But but Do not for know? long distances. No, I think they, they can know. take a few around. Steps. Yeah, before they come it back be, down. Right. It's better for their hips to be on all fours. Um, yeah, I mean, I've seen a circus bear like in movies walk on its hind legs, but never. They like, definitely have the capability to, but not in sure. any duration that could look like that. You know, right? Like, they're taking a few steps, maybe doing they're something and then going back and... down to to four. Yeah. Or else Bring, they would just you be. You have doing that video that. still. You have that video yeah. up still. That same video. Uh, just go forward to. 10 15. So this this is a Boy Scout Boy Scout crew. All right. And they notice this kind of pile of uh you know fallen trees, but it was definitely like a little cave. It, it's no, it's it's to the left or of that here? plateau. Yeah, I think that's this it. spot. Oh so yeah, that's huge. E- e- even still, no matter where it is on the ridge. Oh, that's that that's, camp I was talking about. That's, that's that is mar- far. That's Marble, Marble Mountain. Marble yes, Mountain. Yes, Marble. Yeah. It is Marble Mountain. Exactly. Yeah. So that's it is really, really far. far. It is really far. And that thing is walking around. And they found yeah. um, it's a bunch of special needs kids. And they found uh, what would be a nest. What would you consider like? Uh, right, so, so it's either a mountain man. Or, or it's a big even if it that's is a man as a big dude as, as a, a big mofo as, this is this was the weirdest one i think that i found yeah, that yeah I was marble like, mountain all right is, that's kind of weird marble mountain is, is a good one and and the original right. film um uh supposedly do, do debunked it? uh the og film they dude they have it stabilized now and and uh i got that one i went back and forth on that cool. but the one that gets me every time is that thing has tits why would you make a fucking suit with tits? And uh, also the uh, the calf muscles. You can see the calf muscles. Uh, humans the, couldn't do that in a fucking costume. That's there. He is right here. That's that's him. And what year was this? So, it says 60, right there, sixty-seven. Seven. Seven. Nineteen sixty-seven. So this is probably the most famous. Absolutely most, most famous. Most famous. Started the big craze ever. Started. Well, I thought. There was actually, a huge was Bigfoot craze in the seventies. It, it um, started in the fifties, actually. I found the the guy, a uh, Ray L. Wallace, in nineteen fifty eight. All right, I found footsteps. Yes. All right, and and it was. Where, where, hold on, where is it? Pacific Northwest, Northern California. It was in a logging camp in nineteen fifty eight. So and just just it to turns give people out, perspective, especially in California. Yeah. Right. Uh, even in the 70s, when I was a kid, you would think, oh, the U.S., you know, people have been all over the U.S. and it's populated. There was large portions of California nobody had ever been to or they were and they completely vacated. I remember visiting ghost towns as a kid and the bottles and, and uh, oh, yeah, yeah. silverware of the original owners was still there untouched. There was no gate around it. There was no you could just walk up to this ghost town and walk around in there. There's a whole okay. channel on YouTube. Yeah. where a guy bought a ghost town that was an old mining town and it was all just like yep. falling apart and he's like re- repairing it which oh. is really cool but yeah like that happened all over the place you had guys that would just prospectors go out in the middle of nowhere 
and prospect and try and find gold in these rivers and then abandon it when it would either give up all the gold that he could find or didn't find anything. They'd just move on. Yeah. So this and guy, this guy, Ray Wallace, in 2002, admitted he, he right before he died, he died at 84. He, and right before he died, he admitted that he had carved feet hmm. out of wood yeah, yeah. and was like walking yeah. around trying to like make it seem like Bigfoot was real. And oh, they, ha they have video of, I don't know if it's him, but they have video of people doing that too. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so this guy did it in, in 58 but there's like for the footprints in the snow and the big like bigfoot sightings long predate 58 right. but when like mm. it yeah, hit yeah. Okay. pop culture zeitgeist was in the I mean, fucking steve uh the six million right dollar man had a bionic yeah. uh bigfoot uh what do you think chewbacca comes from oh right, yeah fucking bigfoot so right it was a huge craze in the 70s uh, but this is still like the best one. If it's a fake, it's a fucking magnificent fake because they uh, they uh, did the calf muscles and it's crazy and there's tits on it. I mean, that's attention to detail. And also, that's not a costume you could just fucking make in 67 uh, if you're like a, just a couple of dudes. You, they could in Hollywood. Absolutely. What if was you're the location? dealing with like top notch artists. Uh, um, this was. Um, It was 1967 in Northern California. Where Northern in California? So okay. Well, I would say if you were you you were going down the road of it, it's a Hollywood production costume that with those guys. Look at the movies that came out in that same era and the costuming that they could do Bluff in that Creek. same era. This is Bluff. really good. Yeah. This is a really good costume. Yeah. I'm not saying it's not a costume. It could be, but. It's a really damn well, good one for the late 60s. Yeah. And and for the production value to create that quality of an outfit to only be used in this one clip. Why? What what would be the reason for that? It wasn't in a movie. It wasn't used as like some sort of monster. Right? It's just like this is the one clip. That's it. This is the right, only one yeah. where we see this this outfit. I'm going to the Google Maps, guys. Do it. Let's see it. Now. Bring it out. We're gonna look at Bluff Creek. Uh, there are tits on this thing. Yeah, the There's boobs. Yes. are there. Yeah, when it turns there, you can kind of see it. It is a female. Weird that it looks at you. Or the camera. Uh, yeah. This thing. Oh, is, no, it's looking right at you. The only right film that's been more the analyzed is like the, the Kennedy future. assassination. So, <laughs> right, yeah. Back and to the left. Um, keep this out though. And I uh, will uh, get the uh, Bluff Creek. There we are. We'll back out a little bit, give you an idea. So, yeah, there's the redwoods there. Well, north of the San Francisco Bay Area, there's Eureka. Yeah. Like, we're in the middle of fucking nowhere over here. Oh, and, wow. And it's in a canyon. Yeah, and that's in the middle so of this nowhere. So, is, this is where that, that video is taken, right here? Yes. It's in a sandbar. So it's there's a canyon in Bluff Creek. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be this on the left, uh, but it's taken at a sandbar, right? So um, it'd be at a curve of the river, somewhere like that, kind of like this curve inside. Yeah. There you go. Hmm. Look at that. Wow. It'd be great Maybe. if there was just like a Sasquatch right there. <laughs> yeah. Look at him off, going "fuck you, motherfucker." So like, believe, to... believe, believe in me. Comb Looking through up. all the GPS or the photos and see if we can find Bigfoot through all the forest. That'd be kind of cool project. Boring, but if you found one, that'd be cool. Well, eventually the the pictures are going to get really good, really good. And I'm sure tourists have gone out there now because of the the footage. But like, look at that. That is dense forest. Right. Mountain. How do you even get there? Where's the closest city? There's a trail. Town? There's a trail to the left right there. You can see it. Oh, I see. And oh, that's, that's a road. trail. Okay. There's a road and there's a trail right here. Mm. Um, Bigfoot Creek. <laughs> that's what they should call it. No, it is. It, 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 that's literally one, the creek. There. Wait, was it on I there? Just, oh, did, was yeah. it on there? I, I didn't yeah, even see yeah, it. Yeah, I, I read, I read the actual name. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, and and what you need to do is talk to people like forest rangers, uh, you know, indigenous people on the res- on the reservation mm-hmm. who are out mm-hmm. there, uh, and and they might tell you different stories. But did your whole- mom ever ever run into anything like this? Because you said she was a forest ranger, right? Uh, she saw some weird stuff, but she was mainly in like the Grand Canyon. Okay, she was in the Grand Canyon. Yeah. I mean, I feel like any forest could could have something big walking around. You know, we'll have to chit chat to mom when when we get up to New Mexico. We'll we'll yeah, I'd love to hear that. We'll uh, we'll have mm. a little chat with mom. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah. So one of one of the stories that I found in this book, it takes place in the mid seventies. And it's in the west coast of Canada, so a little higher, but still on the west coast. Uh, that's the that story where they were doing the exercise and saw that that figure walk across the open space. That's during that that craze that you were saying in the seventies. Yep. So was it in the zeitgeist? Was it in in their head? Uh, they they kind of connected that. Um, old, olds in the chat. Remember the remember the. Uh, the um oh bl- why am i blank i just had the name Gary I, just forgot it. I just had a do 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 uh in, remember the in search of episode on bigfoot it was so good creepy because in search of always had this weird creepy synthesizer music in the background and leonard nimoy's doing it and it's uh always really good it's really good uh, There's a lot of great uh les stroud the survivor man the real survivor man okay i don't want to hear that other survivor crap bear grills uh he did a whole show about kind of debunking but also you know the typical kind of like oh i don't know uh where he goes to all the locations of the sightings and kind of recreates the the scenario and how much time you walk um to that location and what it's like out there and to see if he could find they're really interesting because i just like les stroud i think he also does missing 411 uh, he does a couple of them where he retraces the steps of some of the missing people. Oh, so because sometimes like, when you they 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 will ex, they'll be like ten miles, fifteen miles away from where they're supposed to be, and he's like, "There's no way they could have gotten that far on foot with the gear that they had." Some of so the missing four one one people have been found, like they found bodies, like that uh, special That's needs true, yeah. that poor special needs woman. By water. Yeah, right? Oh yeah, sad story where yeah. they just by the bathroom and they lost, they found her body wasn't it was wasn't far away it was just hard to find and i guess she got scared it's like the saddest fucking story you ever heard um and uh and yeah and then there's the one where the kid climbed like half a mile up of, in barefoot that makes no sense. no fucking sense i mean kids can climb don't get me wrong but like not like that it's just no so there uh i do believe there's weird in this world i know there's weird in this world i've seen it i've seen it but um Bigfoot's a tough one for me. There, there's Boggy Creek. Boggy Creek's a good movie. Um, and there's a bunch of cryptid stories. That, like each, you know, there's the Jersey Devil. Uh, we can do an episode on Mothman. That one's pretty weird. That one's just weird. There's a lot of great cryptid uh, in North America. A lot of great cryptid stories. I'd love to kind of deep dive into a few of them. Just individually. You ever seen the Mothman prophecies, Richard Gere? I did, but I didn't like it because I was a kid at the time, and I was expecting a Mothman, and he never showed up. And I was like, "No, it's more Aww. like a psychological thriller." But uh, <laughs> I was like, "Where's the Mothman? I want to see red eyes with the Mothman." Disappointed, just not cool. That's funny. Yeah, there's a lot of potential in the North America of uh, cryptid sightings. Oh God, yeah. And like, we don't know. We don't know. Could be aliens could be nothing but missing 411 does the best job and those stories are freaking great anyway yeah the, and episodes. the ones that are super grounded too that just defy explanation are the are the creep they're way creepier than the paranormal ones or anything you try to connect to bigfoot it's the ones that are plausible and are unexplainable and point. adam you know the woods can get creepy you always feel like you're being watched by something just got to get used to it yep Yep, that's it's like a problem. Red, if, the light, though. if the light changes, it looks like a different landscape. When it gets dusk, you start hearing whole different set of noises. Right. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 There's a reason that know. humans have those scary stories about going into the woods. Don't go out in the woods at night. Don't leave your house. Don't leave the village. 
because scary stuff happens in the woods. The There's predators big monsters. are you. always out at night. So. Yep. So, so is the predator. So is the predator. Um, I guess I can like here. I'll try to find that that UFO vid if you guys don't have. Oh yeah, else. I want to see that. Um, also, I kind of want to see it. Yeah. Well, you know what? Um, hang on. Let's do one more. Let's 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 pull up the raw Marble Mountain Bigfoot footage. Okay, it's sure. Out there. Here, I'll see if I can find that. Yeah, that was just clips that I, that it was piecing a bunch of different uh, Bigfoot stuff together. Those videos that I found. Here is the oh man, the quality on that is shit. But who cares? Here, uh, put it in the chat. Let's pull it up. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll throw it in there for you. Let me let me scan it first. Yep. Okay, that's it. That's it. When was this? Oh God. Uh, chat. What? Eighties? Ninety? Fuck it. No, it couldn't be eighties. Uh, oh, this is the marble mountain. No, I was yeah. talking about the UFO. The oh, UFOs, UFOs from like uh, a year ago. Okay, I'll find recent. that. Really recent. Yeah. Okay, so this is the full video. Okay. So I just found a little bit of snow, some piled logs, but as we wander up, if as we wander up into the uh, trees a little bit, we we notice that there's. Brad, let me. Climb up, come in. Let me get a look into this thing. Oh. I'm gonna let me walk around it a little bit. First of all, some kind of creature has taken and piled tons and tons of leaves and branches to eat a very human. Get ding for this. I feel like a human would pile a bunch of rocks. Uh, I'll check. I don't think. I don't think so. People yeah, do that's a do sick that. fort. That is an awesome yeah. fort. Yeah, I mean, I I do it personally. I would love making camouflage, or make a place to hide. We notice claw marks as we look at the trees and stuff. I don't know. Um, that. Then we come around, we spin in yeah, here, that's, and we that, see. Actually, you know, pause it. That, that's that, how birch. That, like yeah, bir I'm surrounded by birch trees, and like when they get older, they split like that. That's not it's very dry. Not, yeah, yeah, it's not great no, for it's fires. Just, this could older, be like a hunter or a older mountain. birch trees that do that because they split like that. That's normal. Whatever it is, has been all smoothed out. I don't know. That hut didn't look normal to me. I agree, though. That with all the sticks, that, that... there's no sign of human, well, though. Like, there's no anything other than this. About to just, uh... I would say the thing that would signify it's human would be a fire. Fire, trash, poop. Yeah. Like twigs, no hatchets. No, yeah, uh... that's another thing. The way yeah, is it all broken? Wood was cut. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I want to see the edges of these wood pieces. Well, a Sasquatch would just break the fucking branch. Right, that's... Yeah. With his I mean, if they're strength, that, that, those are like five inches Using his logs. Sasquatch strength. They say they're between that, like six, eight feet insane. tall, at least. Yeah. Looks like it's broken. Like, look at yeah. that. Yeah, look that's that. busted. Busted. It's busted, busted. That looks cut, though. The one on the right This there. one? Looks, yeah, that right that there. That looks flat. That looks flat. Yeah, that's, that's definitely. Bro look at that thick thing. Holy man. fuck. <laughs> that's like a tree. That's <laughs> straight up a tree. Yeah, but you know what that looks like to me? That looks like when lightning hits a tree and it like and it and it rips off or it like falls down, you know? Bubba Doom. I knew a dude that lived like that in a cave and then he needed <laughs> to follow it up. It was me. Saying <laughs> <laughs> hey, mountain man. This could just be a mountain man out there, you know? Right. Just could be. Picking up down logs and putting them up. That is kind of weird though. Because that, that weird. was way But it gets weirder that. because as there, there's a bunch of like special oh, here goes, kids they're you. with, right? And they're like, what Getting is that? Getting the good part. What is that? What is that? Uh-oh. I get back we, to camp. We see something moving on the hill above. 
Run! Look, this kid's just running. <laughs> just running out there. Where is it? Is Look how far that is. Come in there, yeah. Like a three-hour hike. From the looks of like, it. Yeah, that's no, not a that's insignificant insane. amount of distance. He's looking at us. Okay, he's walking down. Moving now. That is so the far, right and, and that is that super tall. See the king's castle? He's that kind of little skinny thing. The little thing. Yeah. On the right side of the tree. Kind of yeah, small, that is really big. Yeah, Perspectives like, can that, be strange, oh, though. So I'd like true. to actually the see the dis like the physical distance right between the spot that they are and Almost that mountain trees. top. I mean, but when they but that they, does they look really out, large. It, it was zoomed out and it zoomed into that. I kind of like how he, like his gait. Got stairs, like he's walking down stairs. Yeah, it looks like he's walking down stairs. He just looks chill. Yeah, it's like he's Not, he doesn't get chill. He starts getting pissed off. <laughs> he's like starts going. Rrr. That's my home. You're in. <laughs> yeah. He's almost to the tree there. Those two trees. That's three. He's like, man, I spent like two days putting that together. <laughs> yeah. Right at the very ridge. Well, wait a second. He should spend a lot of my energy ripping those trees down. Yeah. You think that shit's easy? I gotta hide from you, motherfuckers, all the time. Where? Dang it. Look how fucking big he is. Look at that. Now he's mad. Now he's like, God damn, oh, damn it kids. It looks like so he's kind of. No, it, it looks like when you're. Right pause it for a sec. When no, you're. Yeah, 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 right here. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. When you're. Still. When you're jumping down or like walking briskly down. Like. Uh, yeah, but he walks terrain, back up, Adam. You kind of. You're kind of like. Back up. Bouncing down. Oh, he doesn't continue coming down. He no, he back. starts pacing. And I haven't shit. seen this whole yeah, video. Yeah. Okay. He's screaming right. at us something. And his, he starts waving camp. his arms. Get out of my camp. Yeah. He's probably saying, hey, there's 15 Bigfoots down there. <laughs> He's coming. Is he coming down? He's like jumping it? up and down. He's going back and forth. He is furious. <laughs> he knows we're in our. He's in his... kind of now he's almost in the tree. That could, it could be just a big dude. Okay. It could be just a Pause big a mountain man. What would you guys do in this situation? I keep filming. Would you be bouncing? <laughs> oh, you would keep filming. You wouldn't leave. I don't know. No, fuck no. Not unless it got closer. I mean, like we're still at a safe distance. But if we start seeing like True. Bigfoot running at a super speed, I'd be Peace. all yeah, bro. Uh, anybody <laughs> got a gun? But like, Just start freaking. The thing is, at you. yeah, th I doubt these. Uh, maybe one of the guys is armed. I don't know, but I wouldn't go out in the forest not being armed. Right. Although Fair I'm safe. not allowed to. I would never nice. do that myself. Hatches. Because right. it's against the law for me. And now he just yeah. looks dejected. He looks. Yeah, he does. I gotta make another home now. Fuck. It's contaminated by humans. They're, I won't be able to get Those their stuff. dirty homos. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, He walks all the way down that ridge. Yeah, wow. Interesting. I wonder if that ridge also is a human path that was made or I mean it yeah, yeah. It very much looks like a human walk. It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He looks a little wide in the middle, but <laughs> hey man. Yeah. It was it was very human like. But very you know, I, I remember being a kid and my grandpa and oh we got to go snipe hunting you know and go, going yep, out yep yep doing like had he had a friend like throw rocks well we didn't know he was there but they were like oh something's out there right oh it's a it's a snipe here let's get these mcdonald's fries they they like mcdonald's fries you got to try to get them out of the woods mm -hmm. you know fucking with them and it's like all right this camp counselor is like he's got a, a buddy who, who ran up to up there and like oh man this maybe is like, the kids are gonna yeah. the kids are gonna love this they're gonna it remember was, this forever it was like, already I in totally the kids seeing that it was already in you their know? brain they said oh it's sasquatch or bigfoot so and yeah. he's kind of and then he's implanting oh, look, those ideas into your head going oh he's so mad look at him jumping down mm -hmm. he's he's pissed mm -hmm. at us mm -hmm. so right. it, yeah. exactly it could just be like, another hiker I, hiking you know, the top of that ridge but the the one thing about it is that was pretty far and it does that was that, pretty yeah. far. That's a pretty damn that's far. a big that's Tall a dude. big dude. Like, man. All right. Our boy Joe Joe Rogan talked. What the reason it hit my brain is 
Joe Rogan talked about this UFO the other day. So I just found it on his <clears throat> JRE companion Twitter. There we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Switching gears. Full screen. Uh, but you ready? Yeah. Yep. Let's go. There's no real sound, so don't worry about it. What the heck? Whoa. 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 What the heck? What Why would it fly so w- close? That's weird. Now wait till it gets right there. Wow. So that's the tilt that Bob Lazar said they fly at. They don't fly flat. Yeah. They go and they fly that way. Um, because that's a damn good one. Because according to that's Bob Lazar, good, the dude. apparatus is at the bottom of the UFO. And I guess it it kind of pulls it. I guess that's the best yeah. way to put it. It, it pulls it through. Huh. Um, reflections. It looks like it's reflecting the, the ground below. It's a little kind of tan colored on the underside. That is freaking cool. That's dude. a damn good video. <laughs> wow. Where, All right. where was the uh, video taken? Or I guess so there, there was a know. model in a flying a like a Cessna plane chat. Is that what it is? And she, why she, male she... models? <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. How can you tell us a male? I'm it's going to balls. read the you googly. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Zoolander's got to be your favorite movie, Adam. Oh, yeah, it's, definitely. It's I, I, people have been <laughs> quoting at, at me for decades. For you know, your, for, yeah, for, yeah. So it's a You're like, that's so new. Thanks, Gary. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Never heard that one before. <laughs> yeah, ever. Wow. I love that movie. That's what makes it even funnier. It is funny. It is funny. <laughs> Every motherfucker thinks he's the first one to do it. To you. I can't even <laughs> quote it without people going, <laughs> You were a model, and I'm like, you were a model. I just, I just made the joke. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Also, the perspective on this is really good. If it is some kind of hoax, like the, the VFX on it are really, really good. The really perspective, good. lighting on it. It looks the really fact, close. The fact that it doesn't immediately go to like, um, you know selfie mode and with like a reaction for tiktok makes me believe it more right yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean i know like oh my god wow that was like a ufo yeah yeah exactly that's really good i'm not most of the time when i see ufo videos i'm like okay bullshit all right they faked some, it this way some, or they faked it that way this one's really good in front of a, that crappy green screen effect they have going yeah oh shit. god i hate that with the expression. robot voice look at this ufo Look at this UFO. Wow. And also Nico. the the graininess of a lot of videos. Yeah. You know, it's like it looks grainy. It looks like it could have been edited. This did I this actually looks this is really crisp. Really cl- really crisp. I'm trying to think like that's really high altitude. How uh, high oh, come on. how high is Jesus that? Shit. It's up in the clouds. That's, You're that's above X cloud line. line. So Cessna altitude is not like you know, airline it's not altitude. super super high, right? Yeah. Could a could a mylar balloon make it up that? Somebody high? in the chat will have the answer. Twenty thousand feet, around twenty thousand feet, says Mister Beans. But a balloon, it's Mark. The that would be an egg flying this way, and it's coming at the plane well, from an angle. If, if it's, it's floating it's not like flying this, past it. If it's floating like this, and the plane goes past it, just perspectives, it could just look like it's going. Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, tw- Twitter know, video, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's in Twitter. That's X. God, they suck. Yep. They're still using that Vine technology. <laughs> yeah, they are. That's my only possible explanation it, is it could be a Mylar balloon that yeah, got up that I high. I see what you mean. Okay. Because it does look like it comes right by the, the plane. Right by it, but that's the yeah. only explanation. Right, I could... and the, and the plane could be like banking <laughs> left, maybe twenty foot you know? mylar balloons always get let loose and stay of twenty, you know, twenty thousand. Well, it's hard to it's well, hard how to do tell you know it's the size feet. of it. Yeah, twenty thousand feet. Really, there's no perspective. I, I don't. To ch- to I don't know, but I think there's just about a good it. chance it's a UFO than it's a mylar balloon. <laughs> I'd say that the chances are equal. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, I mean, that's a UFO looking mylar balloon. <laughs> looks very strange. Mylar balloons look pretty UFO like. And the oh, the see. gimbal video uh, has the the UFO going that too that way too going. That's true. And yeah. remember that thing's moving, but the, the, it doesn't show like. And that uh, what sucks, according to some, uh, on that gimbal video, there was a whole like a, a V formation of UFOs just like it, and there's footage of it that we haven't seen. Mylar balloons yeah. can make it twenty thousand to thirty thousand feet in the air. That so looks like my, UFOs. That, that's my only explanation. Otherwise, it looks really, it looks really, really good. It's like, what the hell is that? It's crazy. It's, it's a cool good one. video, though. Yeah, it was a really good one. J R E Companion. J. Wait, J. it's Companion. a pilot that caught it. Yeah, that's what it captures. Says. Well, it's the, it's actually it was a model who shot the footage. Oh, okay. A model who was in the plane. The model was flying the plane. No, yeah it's that dei again and they died the shortly afterwards <laughs> on landing <laughs> they can fly it but they can't land it <laughs> that's a wild one that's a good one that is a good one let's get to some soups soups soups, soups. i've been recording a video pretty much all day nice been Last editing night. a video all day pretty much yeah sorry i uh Got into your fun time Sunday fun day. Oh, it's okay. They were they were calling me mean <laughs> in the chat. Big mean. meanie pants. I mean, they're just playing some stupid Pokemon wannabe. Hell game. world. I think the um, funniest I'd... would be if was Gary it... joined and Garrett had to edit. Was it it looks I don't, so I don't bad. know what it was in reference to, but Lofty was going off about pal stands or whatever it's like the game just came out how can it have stands is it not is it not pokemon because it looks exactly like pokemon it's similar to there's definitely some links there but it's not pokemon i you know i wasn't a pokemon kid so it looks, no it looks so bad I all i can say is i like it my it's kid like, was a pokemon kid <laughs> so it looks fun. like fortnite it's fortnite like, meets it's, valheim meets um Nowhere good as, as good as Valheim. Uh, what's another? One? No way. But it's a like a survival. Bit of Conan. Yeah. yeah <laughs> all the games are all becoming this. They're all becoming mess. the same thing, dude. It's, it's like a battle royale, survival crafting. Always talking about that. That's like, basically it. Back nowadays. in the day, you got or Xbox, Souls PS2. Like. Those that that day was Sucks. they were trying all kinds of new things, all kinds of new gameplay methods and mechanics and now it's just like four different things it's fps survival or it's a battle royale mm -hmm. it's like, okay can we try something else or it's lethal company and it's like a super weird i haven't indie tried game. that yet i've watched I, you that's the space bit. to look that's the space to watch the it's indie fun. game it's fun oh yeah the double fun. and single aid titles those are the games to watch uh, the right tackle for five dollars says there is a great book and uh, and Instagram account named Tales from the Grid Square, all about military paranormal uh, encounters. There you go. The author will be a great guest. We'll get him on. You know, uh, I, I was going we to try just, to find him and have him on. That would be cool. I misunderstood yeah. X Ray Girl. Uh, not the first time because English is her like seventh language or something like that, and English <laughs> is my second language. I don't have a first one. Uh, and, uh, I thought you said, uh, military stuff and I went down the whole UFO nuke military thing. Oh my God. So Dude, there's we're going to, yeah, in here. we're going to have to do a whole episode. Cause there's, there's multiple, there's a couple of documentaries about it, but the UFO. Yeah. I was going to say, there's not a lot of, uh, military, um, stories online unless you go to Reddit, which also was a uh, very interesting to read. I just, yeah. you know, less likely to believe Reddit than other places mm. but uh, reddit loves us over oh, really? at <laughs> oh they absolutely love Nirvana. that is true but uh yeah i, I want to read your book because i would love to like dissect yeah, some yeah. of those yeah. stories thank you the right tackle appreciate you <clears throat> buster nut smash has been a member for seven months uh, picked up 19 new, uh, to me books today at Kansas city bookstore, all about UFOs and parallel universes, etc. Cool. Super psyched to dig into them. Yes. 
um that time life book series i guys told you guys about the unsolved mysteries yeah one i got it i got all 33 volumes that are going to go wow. in my research <laughs> 33 Dang. 33 volumes it's it's wow. a stack about this big uh <laughs> not as cost, big as i thought it'd be then it cost me 300 bucks it was worth it i always wanted that it's like when i was you know because they came out when i was in my 19 teens and 20s i couldn't afford it because i was too busy buying drugs but um I, I can't wait to go through that i can't wait um so yeah like go to the old books and you'll find them for cheap melissa found a ton uh at at uh it wasn't was it contact she was one of the U contact or yeah, she went, to, yeah, she, she went to that, uh, she went to a secondhand store and found some old guy passed away in his whole fucking research library. She bought the whole fucking thing. Oh, wow. cool. Filled a suitcase with it. It was great. Freaking score. Yeah, total That's score. Good find. Total score. So, yeah, you can find a bunch of these books cheap. You know, uh, m my starter book was um, Charles Berlitz's The Bermuda Triangle. Was not Chariots of the Gods. That was like my second one. So, uh, Bugfoot Lives says the real JBC member for six months. Bugfoot. I th I caught Bigfoot uh, making love to my wife, says Jake Skywalker199. There wow. you go. Wow. That's okay. that. Does that make that you a, a buck, not a cuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say about people with big feet? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's big fine. shoes big mm -hmm. <laughs> big old shoes that too x-ray girl <laughs> did you just, just see become... that song that uh dan vask posted Which about one? Uh, sky luke skywalker oh yeah oh, dude yeah died from i love being that tired. tweeted it too it's so, yeah. good. Dude, it's so good it's so good it's in my head so... it's still in my head right now yeah I, it's the only screamo song i like so i love uh, that kind of music yeah. that's i love that shit i, I Anyway, sorry, Dylan. Dylan Matthew for nine ninety nine just became a member. Thank you. Yay. Love your guys' content. You uh, should have Casper Sight on Forbidden Frontier. He loves the paranormal and supernatural. He would love it. We will note it down. Casper Sight. We're gonna have uh, more guests this year for sure. We gotta get Mike Bear on. I like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I interact with him on Twitter sure. all the time. And he did tweet at me going like, one of my, I, I don't know if he meant Friday Night Tights or anything. He's like, when are you going to get me on your show? It's like, oh, fucking soon. Like, really soon. We love Mike Bear. You want to come it. on the show? You know what? I'll I'll hit him up and I'll ask him. He did the best panel at Contact in the Desert, which he doesn't do anymore because he fell out with Gaia because Gaia's kind of lame. Uh, on Was that the year before I went there? Because he wasn't year, there when I was there. It was a couple. No, it was a year before like COVID, before they shut it down okay. for, for three months. But um. Uh, he does the whole structures on the moon, structures on the Mars thing. Uh, he he wrote a book on it. Uh, he he co-wrote a book on it. So uh, I'd love to just go down that rabbit hole with him. Plus, he, he'll talk about anything else. Anything else? He is. Uh, uh, he's with me on thinking the moon landing was real, though. I don't think it was fake. I made a joke on Friday Night Tights, <laughs> and somebody's like, <laughs> yeah. "It was real." I'd like, say, "I know. I, I'm I'm in it's the so camp triggered. of." It, it was real. I think uh, some of the, a lot of the photos and some of the footage is fake. If not, all I think of that's a possibility. Fake. I for could sure. see yeah. that recreation, so they could give example. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we were in a. I mean, it was all about whipping our dick out and beating the Russians. That's what it was all about. That's what motivated us. That's why uh, we haven't really gone back because, like, what's the point? We're not up against them, and it's not the Cold War that's anymore. A huge point to go there though, because they're talking. Well, I about, mean, to them. Yeah, yeah, to them. But right. now they're talking about mining asteroids. It's like fucking mine the moon. It's right there. There's water. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, space is very hard on the human body, though. That's the problem. Very true. Yeah. A lot very, of radiation. A lot of radiation and uh, that lack of gravity, kind of a problem. Lack of uh, oxygen, too. Kind of a. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit of a problem, too. Yeah. Just a little wee bit. Uh, you know what? They made oxygen on, on Mars, which is kind of cool. Hey, so, you, I love that. Just send yeah, women up it. there. It'll be fine. <laughs> There's a Venus. whole article on like only women should go to Mars. No, no, it, but you get to the root of only it. Only feminists should go to Mars. <laughs> like, really, it should just be. Yes, well, because I they, agree. They eat. It's funny how, how 
<laughs> I'll crowdfund that, that article shit. is because <laughs> it's basically saying that women are different from men. There, oh, there really? is I know. a, a fundamental they, difference, they and I'm like, they get themselves you realize themselves that you're, 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 yeah, exactly. You sound like J.K. Mm. Rowling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so women are different from so men. So women huh? are different. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. okay. Interesting. Okay. All right. It's weird. Bigots. <laughs> uh, Finito Razim has been a member for one month. Do you think that there is some truth in the work of fiction about aliens slash cryptids and other stuff like Stargate SG one and fringe? Great. Uh, show. Both of those. Yeah, I do. I, I think that's what makes them more ex like X files. It's all rooted in freaking art bell episodes, whether they, whether Chris Carter admits it or not, but I was listening yeah. like there being art, art bell episode on shadow people. Two seasons later, there's an X files on shadow people. You know, it's like, and it's fine that you know, like, uh, use it. They're awesome. Use it. Uh, it's 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 the groundwork for some great stories, if yeah. true or not. But anything, listen. Return of the Living Dead. Remember Return of the Living. Oh no, you don't, because none of you were born when it came out. Return, <laughs> of, the Return of the Living you Dead. You old ass. What does it say in the beginning of that movie? The based like the on true events yeah 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 it's all bullshit mm -hmm. but uh when he's, it, when he's telling the story puts it in your it. head <laughs> but it puts it in your head you're like and it makes it completely different toxic and based on true events like yeah they made some true. toxic waste <laughs> that might be the true part about it but that's that's it I mean, um, so damn it does good. change the vibe of a, of a movie when it says based on true events totally yeah mm -hmm. you don't have to be telling the truth <laughs> but it's you great know, the truth and based like, on it band of brothers hits fucking hard because it's like it is shit, yeah shit but real. that is literally like, i mean not just yeah based on no, it's like the accounts true. of them vapor trails for 9.99 so just good. screams screams sasquatch sasquatch get squatching get squatched go squatch you gotta say it extra you gotta say it too sasquatch it, it counts yeah. that counts thanks Three beer thunder for 1999 says last week negative 37 in North Dakota. Dang. Wow. Around nine, I took Holy up shit. and to see a train of lights in the sky. Lived 20 years near Edwards Air Force Base. Never saw anything like it. I know what planes uh and choppers at night look like. It wasn't uh it got I don't know if he said North Dakota, maybe he meant and and around nine. I just saw ND and thought North Dakota. It says it again. Uh, though, yeah. It wasn't. It yeah. uh, got a video, but not great. Send it. I'd love to see it. Interesting. Hmm. Are, are you sure it wasn't? Um, drones could be a satellite. You see what you see what drones can do now too. Maybe? What's the fuck? What's Elon? Oh, Starlink. 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 Yeah. 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 Because yeah, they're also in a train pattern. They're, they're like... in a line. Yeah, line pattern. Uh, but it might not be too. Uh, remember when Adam used to go on Side Scrollers podcast? Man, good times. Says Mikhail. Was it Michael Cock for five dollars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be back this week. Yeah, yeah I thought you're still on it, like once a week. Yeah, I'm. So, yeah, I'm still on every Wednesday. What, a weekly commitment, a daily commitment is insane. You can't do that. It's tough. Unless it's your, I, I, unless it's your podcast, I think a weekly commitment or a daily commitment is, uh, who that's big. Yeah. yeah, that's a big anyway. commitment. I couldn't do it. No way. Not in a million years. Yeah. Maybe that's why nobody asked me to go anywhere. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, didn't Teddy Roosevelt encounter a Bigfoot? I heard that. I don't know if it's actually true, though, Kel Razor, but I have heard that. Thank you for the dollar ninety nine. So, so the story, uh, I, I actually know the story there. So really? He okay, said, yeah. So Roosevelt met a man, a hunter, that said it, it wasn't Roosevelt himself. It was Roosevelt had a a man that he he knew it was hunter who it was him and two other hunters i believe that were in this spot they went to they were hunting and i guess they they shot at the bigfoot because it, it was there and they were like oh what is that pow, pow and it killed two of his hunter buddies there's three of them and he was like he made it out alive and he told roosevelt about it so. And that's way before the 1950s. That's that's a good point. I forgot about that until just now. Kind of did like an overload with all sorts of yeah. random Bigfoot yeah. shit in the past, like, uh, I don't know. Interesting, days. interesting. 
I don't know if I believe it though. You know, it's just like, okay. Yeah. It mm. it could be just a, a story. Right. Kel Razor, that, that profile picture is terrifying. It's very creepy. Uh, Dineska for five euros says, Gary, they picked up hair from a siding spot and DNA tested it. It was half human, half unknown. Look it up. Ooh. Oh. Well, it just reminds me of the elongated skulls. Same thing. Yeah. With 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 those uh, that DNA test they did, half human, half unknown. And considering we're finding out that there were hominids way in the past who were way more intelligent than they we thought they were, yeah, and true. there are yet to be discovered hominids out there. I wouldn't. That doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah. And there's some that we will never discover. We've talked about that before because they're just gone forever. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, watched a flash of beauty, paranormal Bigfoot, some crazy footage and theories change my view from no to yes, possibly. So it's called a flash of beauty. Actually, paranormal. that's what I was talking about earlier. Okay. Um, with that SEAL team or the thank you bookmark for 20 the Air Force team uh, that took out the the. Well, let me, I have the article. Yeah, the, the squad of commandos went to murder a family of Bigfoot. That's actually where that story is from. It's from that, ah. that mm. documentary. But that's the, well, you know, military guys, like once they get out of the military, it's not like they go to the news and tell all their stories, right? So right, when, yeah. when I really started believing UFO, instead of it like, hey, it's a hobby, might be a thing, never saw one, not really sure until I talked to a couple of relatives who were in the military. One of them was a pilot, and they just straight up told me all their stories. I'm like, oh, okay, I believe this now. Because, like, it was my relative. He wouldn't fucking lie to me. Uh, he has no re- not going to write a book, not going to go on a speaking tour, not going to tell this to anybody else. Uh, and uh, that's when I started, like, really, really, and that was in my teenage years, uh, becoming a believer. Uh, U.S. Army sent squad of commandos to murder Bigfoot families for tests. I can see, like, that's the one logical thing that the military would do. True. Like, if they found them, they'd kill them and test them. Yep. Mm-hmm. Makes I'm not sense. Not a fan of it. Checks out. Not a fan of it, but that's what they would do. Besides the Patterson Gimlin footage of Bigfoot, you uh, have you listened to the Ron Moorhead Sierra Nevada recordings from like that? We were listening to them at the beginning of the show. Analysis of the recordings exist on YouTube. Yeah, the, uh, yep. Art Bell did a full analysis, and then there are there are other shows that have done full analysis, uh, and they definitely they weren't just like this. Of course, they were saying it could be a fake, but they're like, there's something to this. There was some guys definitely saying there's something to this. Thank you, WG, for twenty five dollars. WG, uh, Gary, I live in. What's S O, Illinois? South Illinois, South, maybe. Yes, South Illinois. South Illinois. South Illinois. Okay, that's probably it. Uh, I've been on one mountain lion. Uh, I've seen one mountain lion, um, multiple bobcats, and three panthers, which apparently don't exist. Never seen anything to believe in Bigfoot. Black panthers are another mystery. Well, there's, they're here. I've heard of that too. Okay, they're here Black in Texas panthers, yeah. because a bunch of weirdo collectors get them and they can't handle them and they fucking oh, and they let escape. them, yeah. they let them go. Right. So they are absolutely here. What's really interesting is the jaguar, the jaguar, the jaguar is jaguar? making its way back into jaguar. America. Make, making its way back into America. Because there's, of us or... Uh, no, no. So they used to be here. Yeah. Uh, up until a couple of hundred years ago, then they were driven south. But there's one called El Jefe that has made his way into Arizona and been on heard uh, of that. and on uh, trail cams. El Jefe. El Jefe. Black Panthers yeah, in the UK are also cryptid. Huh. Cryptid in, in the UK. They think some people see they claim to have seen Black Panthers in the UK. If it's real or not, who knows? Yeah. I, I it, it's, well, it could be the same thing okay. like in Texas where a collector brings it over and then lets it go. You were in Pasadena away. with me, mm-hmm. right? And what did we hear? What did we see? Flocks of parrots. That's right. Flock. There's cool. wild parrots now. So yeah. they're not all like red and stuff. They're like just green with their yellow beaks and uh, they're loud as fuck. And yeah. what happened was somebody brought some parrots there and had them in a, in a little, uh, you know, I forgot what it Orange tree. 
enclosure. Oh, right. It's uh, aviary? Set them a aviary. Aviary. That's yeah, it. and they yeah. escape from the aviary, and they've uh, what decades ago, and now they're just breeding, and they're and that's happening here in uh, San Antonio. Yeah, good too. for them. Life finds a way. So I think if you see a a big cat, a big black cat, that's a predator. It's probably some Yahoo fucking collected one, some Tiger King tweaker. Yep. And uh, you know, let it go. <laughs> There's more tigers in Texas than more more cat captivity tigers in Texas than there are in any of the zoos around America, or oh, in wow. or in uh, Asia. Wow. We have most of them. There's a lot in India. They kill a lot of fucking people in India. Those tigers will get you. They'll they'll jump out in the water and get you. Oh yeah, they'll uh, swim to you. They will swim to you. Yes. Did you see that video? I don't know if it was real. Uh, uh, of the the big eagle or something carrying the fucking deer. Oh, I saw that day. What? Yeah, oh, yeah. just like straight dead deer. The things like twice the size of that is it eagle. a vulture i don't know if it's an eagle or, a or vulture. whatever it is yeah i think it, it may be a vulture yeah that we have turkey vultures here they're fucking huge dude wow oh, i almost i almost fucking plowed over like six of them today because there was some roadkill it was probably another turkey vulture they were just probably eating their own there's some roadkill and yeah i'm like what the fuck is in the middle of the road i thought it was chickens and it was giant turkey vultures and i almost fucking ran them over and then think about the terror bird that's gone extinct. That thing was a mad. It's like a, a school bus wingspan. Yeah. Yep. That, that would take a. That's child. taking a full grown child. Uh, the singing oh, tigs full human. for ten dollars says Maybe. Gary. I live in. Uh, oh, I read this one. What am I doing? See, I get distracted. Some of the earliest Sasquatch stories from Europeans came from Samuel Chaplin. Says Sal the hamster for ten dollars. Hmm. So he was just telling some tall tales, tall tales. Charles the hammer for ninety nine cents. Thank you for the super sticker. Appreciate it. Man of War six six five. The neighbor of the beast who's been a member for eight months says QBG stumbles upon some hobo sex. Uh, that's weird hobo sex, man. Actually, yeah, Ryan stumbled across it in San Diego when we were going to oh. see. Uh, Kurt Metzger. It was solo hobo sex. Oh, but, oh uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he, so he I saw that he, in Chaz. He walked across by is a your... guy who was jerking off, and then Melissa and I walked by a guy who was fighting himself, huh. like throwing weird. punches at himself. Wow. That was in San Diego. Yeah. Who won? Uh, I think he did. <laughs> Jokes are bad. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fourth generation logger and grew up in the mountains in Northern California, South, Southern Oregon, and have never seen or heard family stories about Bigfoot. If they are real, I think are they're a part of the last giants. Uh, Leighton Hallman for ten dollars. Yeah, maybe the last two already died out, and maybe like that was in the seventies or something. Maybe. But uh, I am I am starting to believe more. Giants was like. I want to. It's fun. I love going down the giant rabbit hole, but I'm starting to believe it now. I'm starting to believe that there, like, there was giants. There was giants. Right. See, I can understand. I can, I can get behind that. Like, yeah. And, and yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. you the way you just said it, like the last Bigfoots that were alive, but maybe that video is real, and it was like one of the well, last few that were remaining because they went extinct. Uh, mammoth. So the last, the right, mammoths right. died out exactly. 12,000 years ago, except they didn't. The last mammoths died out when uh, Mesopotamia was around. Uh, they were isolated on an island near Antarctica, and they were like pygmy, but they were mammoths. And right. they were super inbred, and the last one died out was like 3,400 years ago. So and they what's lasted. A what's a mammoth? It's a woolly elephant. It's a woolly right? elephant. So yeah. what's a Bigfoot? A woolly human. Yep. And granted, it's huge, but maybe that's what they were giant, fully woolly humans yeah. that yeah. were able to survive in the Ice Age. I got to check out the story. Joe Rogan was talking about the giant sloth. Um, again, died out 12,000 years ago, except there's a story of one being kept uh, by a, a native culture in South America like wow. two or 3,000 years ago, being kept in a cave. Yeah. 
I got to check it out, though. I only heard him talking about it. Got to check it out. Uh, Bubba Doom, is, th is that in FDM print or resin, Gary? Oh, I, don't, I think uh, it's FDM. It, I, it looked like it's a FDM, which is where they it prints it like this instead of printing it's it. It's more plastic. Can it you see the, the layers pretty defined? Yes, I can. It's FDM. Yes. I've never 3D printed. Garrett knows, though. I want a 3D printer. You they're fun. Right, yeah, they're a lot of fun. Yeah. You can make guns with them. Have you heard of the Kandahar Giant? Yes. Supposedly, the military encountered a Nephilim there. Would make for a good movie script. A fantastic one, by the way. True. And and it's what makes it believable. It's like it's in the, sorry, but the hellhole that's Afghanistan. That's not exactly, you know, a modern country. You know, I always wondered back in the day, I'm like, why does anybody care about Afghanistan? It doesn't have like rich oil reserves. Like, why yeah. does anybody poppy care? Poppy fields. Was, uh, poppy got a lot fields, of history. Uh, but now, now fields. it's got the equivalent of oil. It's got a lot of metals and that need that are needed for metal for uh, for cell phones and for for car batteries Teslas and stuff. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm, a lot of that you, stuff. A lot Rare. of that stuff. Metals. A lot of minerals. So maybe they saw that coming. I don't know. But yeah, the Kandahar Giant, great story. Don't know if I believe it, but great fucking story. Uh, there are too many stories throughout history about Sasquatch for it not to be true. It's got to be something, Mark, reality. Don't know. I think like a thousand years ago, much more likely to maybe run across something that lasted a little longer. Um, I mean, we, we all just imagine that like dinosaurs and the megafauna just died out overnight. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure some dinosaurs last did past 65 million years. We have crocodiles and alligators. Well, some things, survived. Yeah. Things chickens. survive. They just turned them into chickens. Yeah. Things survive. So yeah, I totally believe that there was some kind of crossover for sure. For That's sure. why there's so many stories across the world. Yep. And you know what? In the middle of the Congo, there is probably some weird fucking giant 50 foot snake huh. or upright six foot chimp or whatever that's probably still yeah. around that well you know we haven't seen <clears throat> uh london fog 66 for two dollars thoughts on the new film out of the darkness i i, I haven't I've seen, it. seen it What's it? what it is. is it what is it what is it out of the darkness uh bleaker street What is it about? 2024? Horror film? I think. Stone yeah. Age horror film? Is this what you're talking about? Sounds cool. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. From 2022? Uh, this one's from 2024. Oh. I'm not sure if that's the one that they're talking about. I don't know. I'll have to check it out. Cool. Thanks for letting us know. I'm waiting for a good, uh, James Fox is working on his next UFO doc. I'm waiting for a good doc. James Fox is good. Yeah. So it'll be out this summer. Uh, Skinwalker Ranch will be out April. Um, I can't wait for that. Yep. I'm rewatching it, but I, I'm kind of pissed that they hit everything behind a fucking paywall. Did uh, they? Cause you used to be able to watch it on Hulu. You can watch yeah. it on Hulu. If you get the live TV you can't watch season four without it, though. You can only watch seasons one, two, three. So season Changed four, it. you have to pay. Well, I mean, right? and, I, and if I'm going to yeah. pay, I'd rather just get physical media. Sale the high seas. I mean, yeah. I try not to. I, I, mm. I own physical copies of all the Ancient Aliens seasons. Because I like to have them. I own some James Fox documentaries. Physical, uh, you know, Out of the Blue and Oh, whoops. Bigfoot are bigots. That's why they hide. Eric K for a dollar ninety nine. You would know, Eric. Just kidding. Uh, let's talk statistics. The math of a dead Bigfoot is less likely than Meg. While new insects are found, size matters. Right. That's right. X ray girl agrees. Uh, we know more about Mars surface than the ocean floor. As for aliens, why would they hide? Oh, I don't think they're doing a very good... I don't think they do hide. 
I think their technology for one is so far ahead of ours that we just can't fucking see it most of the time. And when we do, we catch glimpses. I don't think they hide at all. Exactly. Well, I, I, I don't think I they think think give a there's, fuck. They could have a reason to hide. They could be observing from a distance, not trying to affect the, there's, well, there's tons of reasons before why. Before the TikTok hide. incident, they were getting rate. They were getting radar pings of hundreds of these things and they didn't give a shit. They knew they were being seen. They knew where their locations were, where they're going. They're like, yeah, when, you gonna a, when, when it comes gonna down argue over if Phoenix, we're real or not, <laughs> when it comes yeah. down over Phoenix and it's not hiding at all, it's got his lights and everything. Oh, they're not really hiding, but I, 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 the question, why would they hide? There's tons of reasons why something would hide. Yeah. The, the argument of like, why don't they do this? Why don't they come down and land on the, Those... blah, blah, blah. it's like, why would you fuck with an anthill? Like it, it's, it's right, yeah. right. The this isn't a you couple saw what hundred happened years to Harambe. Ahead. Sorry, yeah, never mind. No, you're right. <laughs> but, like we're not talking about a couple of hundred. Whether it's interdimensional, whether it's us from the future, Who whether knows? it's an alien, it is thousand years ahead of us. We we don't even have a concept for that. We we don't have a right. mental concept for that. And one of the things that's you know through my quote unquote just it's a hobby, but through my studies, listening to hundreds of hours of interviews. And most of it being, you know, I'd say a good half, more than half being complete bullshit. But from the legit people, they all kind of say the same thing. It's far weirder than we can possibly imagine. And it's something we might not be able to ever figure out, you know, unless they want us to. And, and you know, it'd be like us trying to communicate with, um, with a dolphin who are very intelligent creatures, but we can't communicate with them. They can communicate with each other just fine. We can, we can teach it to punch a ball and jump through a fucking loop, but we can't like, how are you feeling? What are your feelings? Right. Like, what are your desires? What are we doing wrong to you? What, whatever, you know, we can't communicate it. Thanks for all the fish. So long. And thanks for all the fish. Uh, Judah for ten dollars says, "Oh, I read that one. Do, do another Judah for five dollars. Extraterrestrial religion or science, angel or demon equals alien. If you are religious, that explains it. If you are not, we are a comedy show or an experiment. Uh, I think religion and and uh, science can exist together. I know they Absolutely. can. Absolutely. Uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, it, yeah. If uh, if you're religious, then." God created the aliens. There you go. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Not that complicated. It's not that complicated. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Judah, for the five dollars. Uh, Morehead was asked to go hunting. The Bigfoot started bo uh, bothering the camp. The camp is only accessible by horseback or hiking miles into the mountains. Says Charles the Hammer four ninety nine. Yes, and to back that up, there is a missing four one one where where Dave gets in the documentary. Remember those guys who had that hollowed out tree that they would go into and put a door over because they fucking were getting fucked with by Bigfoots. Yeah, yeah. And 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 it was just a bunch of hunters who met in Northern California off the road who just drank beer and hunted like didn't want to be fucked with. Why would you do like, you know, unless yeah. they were like drop an acid or something like that which then i could believe it uh MK anthony Ultra. or mk ultra oh that shit's real that shit's realer than real mk ultra no i know but like yeah. think about all these like military bigfoot connections you know it crossed my mind that like maybe they were just being like i don't know manipulated in some way yeah, yeah manipulated is a better term exactly uh, some friends and I, one and ex Navy, went to check out a Bigfoot, Bigfoot sighting in upstate New York. At night, we heard strange yelping and threw rocks into the forest. Something or someone threw rocks back at us. We left. I would too. Oh <laughs> my that's god! The point. That's the point where I okay, okay, time to go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Whatever it is. Leave. Yeah. Uh, that's weird. Yeah. Where are the bodies of the dead ones, uh, though? Cannibals, maybe, uh, but not bodies at all. No bones or anything. Preston Sparks, $5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, recent bodies. The thing is, 
and we've talked about it before the reason it's so hard to find hominids or anything is they have to be buried or fossilized or, uh, if they just die, like most uh non primitive primitive hominids non primitive man primitive man sorry uh died on the ground out in the open bones pick you know your your flesh is gone bones shattered uh and Chewed eaten. on by predators you well know? think yep, about uh, most of the the fauna that's out there right now you don't find a whole lot of just dead bodies all over the place because they get picked away and no you don't absorbed back into the wild yep how do you well, know you like do find look them, what so. happens to roadkill that look shit gets freaking dude, dude it's like two days is gone there was nine yeah, exactly. turkey vultures around that thing that shit is gone you know earth exactly. has a way of uh cleaning itself there you go watched a woman walk away from her mailbox for a few seconds she looked straight out of the patterson uh Right out of the Patterson Giblin film, uh, <laughs> swinging her arms the same way, <laughs> says, Show me comics for five dollars. That is no way to talk about your wife. Oh, uh, no, just kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I don't think Bigfoot exists. The native stories may have been based on sightings of other hominid species that no longer exist, but no Bigfoots today, Nick. The Greek for four ninety nine. That that's that that's seems I'm plausible and I'm logical to, to me. I am I agree with that. Uh, look up sub subarctic Alaska Sasquatch. It's a YouTube channel. He's a tribal native that had his own scary encounters. I'd love to see you guys talk to him. Write that down, please. Sean cool. for five dollars. Thank you very much. Patrick Banks. For two dollars says, what about the headless valley or rock apes? What's headless valley? Don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I know rock oh, apes. Is, is that the story of the valley where anywhere, anytime you go to it, you get your head cut off? Oh, it's like an old, old story. I'm not going to go to that valley. Yeah, I like my head. <laughs> smart. Where it You're is. a smart man. Like groups yeah. of people found without their heads, and this is like old, old west stories. That was probably well. I was probably some indigenous people paying paying the white man back. Just saying. Um, Neil Horn for ten dollars. Hail everyone! Have you seen the 2019 story about the Indian military finding Yeti footprints while on patrol in the mountains? Yes, yes. Maybe it's an anthropological thing, but Bigfoot is super creepy to me. I did see that story. There's lots of footprints. Lots of footprints in the snow. Lots, lots and lots of footage of that. Uh, there are true weirdo. There is true weird woo in the world. Thanks for covering all the mysteries the world holds. Ah, you're welcome, Catzilla for $9.99. I think it's fun. Yeah. Makes life less mundane. Vapor trails for $9.99. Just because people have fake stuff doesn't mean it doesn't exist. True. It just true. makes it muddies the waters, man. When you have this many stories from different tribes and places, there's probably something real behind it. Yes, what that is, we don't know. But like, you know, if we're gonna if we're gonna make the same argument about the flood theory, although there's actual evidence, geological evidence that there was a big fucking flood in multiple locations around the world, uh, but it's the same thing. You know, we have the yeah. same cultures saying the same things, and quite frankly, almost every culture has a Bigfoot story, has a hairy man, giant hairy man. Why not a giant lizard? Why not, you know, well, there's Thunderbirds, but, you know, yeah. Why, why not some weird giant monster? That It's all very similar. I'm European. I don't believe in Bigfoot. I believe in Big Meter. Ah! <laughs> that was this one. hey yo. <laughs> hey -o. Uh Will you guys dedicate an episode to on Mothman? Yeah. What's up, yes. man? For $2? No, we were yeah. just talking about that. Just talking about that. Gary, as a felon, you can have black powder guns. I can paranormal operator for $2. Like muskets? Yeah, I can actually, I think there's, a, I think I can have shotguns too. I can have a shotgun. Oh. Cool. Um, right. I, I got to tell you this story off air. Okay. okay. Comics right. Division came by and, uh, and looked at one of my wife's guns. Okay. Give me some <laughs> info on it. Yeah, Sweet. I can't say that one on the air though. <laughs> <laughs> it's armored Gamera cider hype for two dollars, maybe. Flight of the Navigator right here it says tricky for two dollars. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Flight. That's that's a good movie. So, uh, oh my God, how am I supposed to say this? Zebra. Is this like Ka zebra khaki? khaki. Zebra I was gonna say like it's like bukkake, but zebra. Oh khaki. my God. <laughs> okay. For nine ninety nine. <laughs> I'm a child. I'm sorry. <laughs> so am I. Uh, there was a night where I kept hearing a sound which sounded like a combination of a tornado siren and a typical UFO whirring sound that kept cycling between very loud and quiet. Any experience? That sounds like one of those mystery noises. Yeah, like the horns. Mm. Like the trumpets. Yeah, the trumpets and stuff. Yeah. Or, yeah. or the one that sounds like somebody's dragging a dumpster across the street. Yes. Yeah. It sounds like grinding or something. Grinding like metal. That. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's it's uh that's uh, dude. Those are I very remember strange. when the mystery noises started popping up was 2011, 2012. That's when they started popping up. Ever you can it's hard to find them on YouTube now, but the YouTube used to be fucking filled with them. Some were certainly bullshit, but there are th that's actually real. I believe weather phenomenon or atmospheric phenomenon. That's what it is. But um, I've heard one. I've heard one during really? a storm. I've absolutely heard one. Yes. Here in Texas, so since I've been here, I heard that in the fucking sky. I'm like, holy shit, I couldn't get my phone out fast enough to record it. But I've heard it. So, yeah, that, that shit's real. Uh, and um, I mean, now, could it be the signs of a pole shift or something? Maybe that's why it's mentioned in the Bibles, the mm -hmm. trumpets. You know, uh, you know, it's it's a warning. That something big is about to change with the earth? Maybe. Maybe. Was it Wednesday night and they pick up the trash on Thursday morning? That, that, that could be it, too. <laughs> that could be it, too. Uh, Yellow Flash wants to come and talk on the occult sometime. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you could DM me. Yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, reticent voice for eight months. Uh, thanks for letting me know, though. I just talked to Yellow Flash. Uh, we, we, uh, he always shows me, like, comic book covers he bought and stuff. So I was just talking to him today. How the fuck do Jedi die? From... <laughs> How the fuck do Jedi die from being tired? I should have cried. I, I should have, have cried, cried when Han died. Dude, it's so I good. I love that song. Yeah. I, love that I was song. playing yeah. it on repeat earlier while I was I playing. tried to find the band. That's their only song. They have like one Is song it? and that's it. Yeah. Well, at least I, really? I looked on, on hey, YouTube you music. I looked on YouTube. Awesome. I couldn't find it. Uh, Moon Need is more. hollow. Prove me wrong. John Kennedy for $5. Hey, you're alive. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm not going to argue with that. The moon's weird. The moon is too a lot of weird um, stuff, man. Legitimate scientists have said it's far stranger that the moon exists as it is. If it's an accident that, that's the most improbable thing of all. It's way more probable that it was constructed than the fact that it is this, uh, the, the orbit that it has, the size that it is, its proximity to Earth, how fucking important it is to our planet. Uh, th that is just... The ringing, like a yeah. bell? Like, that's very strange. Yeah. What Everything hell? about it is fucking weird. The way the, um, uh, the, the, uh, the, the impacts... Only go down three hundred. What is it? Three hundred feet. Yeah, they're really shallow. They're really shallow. Yeah, like yeah. it's hit. Like it's running in the fucking metal. Weird. Weird. Or three miles. I think it's three miles. Sorry, not three hundred feet. Three miles. Like that's the maximum it goes. Um. Weird, Adam though. doesn't believe in Bigfoot, but Adam also thinks the theatrical version of Lord of the Rings is superior version. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the guy's I, I didn't judgment. Say that. Uh, rich uncle cheapskate for four ninety nine. That's not what I said. <laughs> People love to believe what they want to believe. Um, I watched Return of the King in theaters. By the way, it was a digital. It was f for. It was beautiful. It was fucking beautiful picture. That's dope. I'd it love to see that so in theaters. Good. I never saw it in theaters. Uh, Alamo Draft House rules. You got a little. You got a waitress or a waiter bringing you yeah. food. Dope. Before the movie right. starts, they're like, turn your phones off or we will kick you out of the theater. And they're playing the like old, it. it's it's themed to the movie. Well, they're playing uh like some old vintage trailers. Like they played uh the Goonies trailer and some other older shit. And then they started playing some clips 
uh from like uh dude ian mckellen talking to ricky gervais about like i love his that <laughs> of acting is so fucking perfect oh, yeah. I, I put it in a thing where he's all what i do is i pretend i'm a wizard <laughs> <laughs> and how i Action. do that is somebody yeah, writes yeah. words for me and i memorize the words and for the other stuff they just tell me what to do. Stand there. They say <laughs> action. He's all, I'm Ian, I'm Ian, I'm Ian. Action. I'm a wizard. Cut. I'm Ian, I'm Ian, yeah. I'm Ian, I'm Ian. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> it's that easy. That's my process. <laughs> That's my process. It's so fucking well, How good. do I know what to say? People put them on paper. And People they write me. it down. Where do I know where to stand? They tell me where to they stand. They tell me where to stand. <laughs> Classy. Oh, That's great. <laughs> Oh, I was a kid. Uh, cows escaped in the middle of the night and they were chased through a nearby campground during roundup. Next day, there were all kinds of crazy rumors. Oh, because of the because of the cows. Mm. If you watch Clarkson's farm, his cows get out all the fucking time. Where one I, I screwed up. Uh, hail Gary. Could you mention my sci fi novel Fatal Planet out now on Amazon? Thanks. No. I will not mention <laughs> Fatal Planet that is out now on Amazon, uh, CN Samson Books. I will not mention, I repeat, not mention Fatal Planet, which is not now on Amazon. I didn't hear what you said. Uh, Fatal Planet, <laughs> Amazon. I'm not mentioning it. I'm not going to say a word about Fatal Planet being on and Amazon. It, it being out now. You yeah. can't tell me what to do. How dare you ask us to do that? How dare you ask me to mention Fatal Planet on Amazon. <laughs> Dinesca for five euros. Two YouTube channels. Everybody interested in Bigfoot should know. Thinker Thunker. I had to say that one really slow. And Bob Gimlin. Uh, their work speaks for itself. So it's Thinker Thunker and Bob Gimlin. Go check them out. I know this. Go, I know Bob Gimlin. That's go check picture. them out. I feel like it's a mistake to lock our thinking of Bigfoot as a conversational animal as we learn uh, of all the crossover sightings and reports between Skinwalker Ranch, Dogman, and Missing 411 research the LBL attack. We did see that's where I'm way more open to it, where it's Skinwalker Dim Ranchy kind of like dimensional stuff. Dimensional. Yeah, yeah. That that seems a lot. Well, I know this is going to sound crazy. That seems more plausible than he's just really fucking good at hiding. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, he's like literally not here. He's in a different dimension. Well, dude, maybe it's just a uh, uh, a space time anomaly, and it's just something prehistoric that phases into our time. Mm. Who like fucking knows? Like the shadow kind people, of vibe. Man. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I think uh, shadow people and and most ghosts are another dimension facing in our our dimension so we can kind of see them sometimes they can't see us maybe they maybe we're ghosts in their dimension mm. you know what i'm saying walking to the fridge at night walking in the fridge at night Creepy we just man. scared the fuck out dimension. of some people yeah you know uh uh it's like the South American hippos. Good job, Pablo. That's right, Nick the Greek for $1.99. That's actually in a Grand Tour episode, the Colombian episode. Uh, they go, they because they're pretending to be wildlife photographers, and at the end, they find the hippos in South America that uh, Pablo Escobar, is that his last name? Why do I always forget his name? The drug lord uh, had flown there, and now they're breeding. Escobar. Escobar. Sorry, Escobar. Uh, now they're breeding. And they're going to have hippos in South America now. In That's Columbia. not good, guys. No, hippos they are eat, fucking they, dangerous. They, they, they're scary. They will mess you up. They will They'll mess you. you up. But um, they're uh, they're breeding, so and and they will probably do pretty great, pretty great down there. It's kind of jungly, oh. kind of nice. Rip. Fun American history. Jolly West gave a zoo elephant LSD, and Tesco OD'd. <laughs> In the name of MK Ultra, says James Esparza for five dollars. Is that funny? <laughs> that sounds horrible. That's not funny that at all. Fucking horrible. I mean, it's kind yeah. of funny watching an ass watching an elephant trip out on acid would be funny. I don't It'd be agree. like looking at its trunk, going, "What the fuck <laughs> is this, man? Wow." 
like hit his face with it. Like I, I can smell my, face. my eyes. <laughs> put its ears over it. Whoa. I'm supposed to advise, uh, be of sound mental health. Be around people you really trust, and stay away from mirrors. Okay, if you're dropping acid, stay Set away from in mirrors. Setting. Because you will be stuck in front of that mirror for hours, tripping on your own face. <laughs> Have you heard the stories coming from the jungles of South America? Natives say they nestled in the mountains, in the jungle, and there's a place untouched by time, still filled with megafauna and giant birds. It's uh, encircled by mountains, supposedly. I have heard those stories. I want them to be true. I could believe that there are things we have not discovered that we think, well, they find, they find shit all the time. A lot of it's fish. Like that one fish they, you know, it was 100 years ago, but they... It wasn't even 100 years ago. It was like 50 years ago. They pulled it up and it supposedly been uh, like extinct for millions of years. Yeah. Yeah. That happens found almost that every shark. year. Hayden! Found that 50. They found that what? No, I was going to say they, they just found that chart in the Arctic that's like 380 years old. Right. Yeah. And they're like, oh, wow, this thing's been alive for almost 400 years. Like, holy shit. Well, it's got a hell of a food supply. Lots of penguins. Hayden. How big was it? I don't remember. But it's cool. It's looking. massive. It was massive. It was like all scarred it, up it was, too. It was it's massive. Old. Yeah, it looked looked like an old man. Yeah. It's cool looking. Uh no, you, gotta, you gotta read that, Hayden. You didn't you didn't read it. I said I did. We did. Oh, you did. Yeah, read it. It. Oh, yeah. okay. Hayden. 75. Out there working hard in the oil fields of Merca, keeping this country going. Love Hayden. Uh, Nicholas Horton, Justice for Rebecca Edge Runners. Those stories of big cats roaming our countryside are true. Sightings have been leaked. The Beast of Bodmin Moor is a novel based on these stories. Oh, that's what I was talking about in the UK. There you go. Uh, Aboriginal in Oz have a legend about a Yeti called the Yowie or Yahweh. Mo uh, Movation for five Australian dollars. Yeah. I knew they I knew that name and I couldn't remember it because uh I had too many strokes. Uh the libertarian guy for 499, you guys should do an episode on the Flatwoods, a WV UFO crash, or the Braxton County monster, as it's also known. Uh a IS oh, thanks for the great content. I don't know if the ISO, but uh you oh like, yeah, the Braxton County Monster West the, Virginia the was uh, Virginia, Angela right. from Normal World told me that's her, that's her favorite cryptid. It, okay. Not a lot of people actually talk about it. Very weird. Thank you all for existing. Wow. That's Just nice. Simply yeah. existing. Aww. You too. Nobody usually thanks me for existing other than like my mom. Uh, Bruno Champagne for 20 Canadian pesos. You are all amazing uh, for your information. I'm in the French quarter of Commie Canada. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Sorry we are man. not all bad, and a lot of us are fighting back. We just have very small voice. Hopefully that grows. Thank you. Keep doing it, though. Keep well, what's going to happen is uh, that commie policy is going to make a lot of people based. That's what it's going to do. It's true. That's what it tends to do. Just kind of happens, though. Did you see a, a ex community note like some rag celebrating fucking like Lennon's birthday? Not John Lennon, the fucktard commie Lennon. Oh, and wow. it got community it noted to death. It got, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. That guy caused uh, a, a famine, five million deaths, and uh, started slave camps. Yeah. Gulags. Gulags. They send people right. and they don't give them enough food. They just freeze to death. Yep. Mark Darkside for four ninety nine. Science is in pursuit of truth, which is a good thing. Why try to do a good thing if there is no God? Why is truth a good thing? Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. Hey Gary. Yeah. We got a little sleepy pie over here. Yeah. Oh. Okay, sleepy pie. <laughs> yeah. Ninety nine sleepy pie. I, I've been going to sleep pretty early, and uh, I I've been like. 11 p.m. So like this is, I don't even know. It's like 2:30. Um, but I, yo, I I it's can feel my brain here. shutting down. So I'm gonna let me get out of here. But I'll be back tomorrow. Base F Monday is back up and running. I took the week off 
last week because I wasn't I wasn't up to snuff, but uh, we'll be back. So check out the show tomorrow. We'll be back, Garrett. See you there. I'll see you there. See ya. And uh, I don't know what, what are we talking about next week? Do we know yet? Uh, there there's gonna be a guest. Oh, um, yeah. We we oh, haven't announced know. mystery guest. Yeah, not yet. Mystery mystery guest. Okay, well I'm excited. All right. Uh, I'll put it in the chat. Guest. Okay, well I'm even more excited now because I you know go. who it is and you don't. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Okay. That sounds yeah. awesome. All right. Well, yeah. guys, great to see you. I'll see you next week. See ya. See you later. Peace. Later, brother. Bye. All right. We'll knock these out. Uh, C underscore is a new member. Lots of underscores. Uh, thank you. Uh, Control Orb for two British pounds proper money. Your thoughts on parallel dimensions? Absolutely believe they exist in scientific. Uh, there's other dimensions. I don't know about parallel dimensions. Uh, I think there are. And science believes there are. They, they have a theory. Mm -hmm. And uh, I agree. And I think it explains a lot of the stuff we're seeing. Because I think they bleed. I even have a theory that, you know what? We travel through them all the time. Like we might not be in the dimension we were born in. Maybe every time we wake up, we're in a new one. Berenstein Bears. Oh, gosh. Berenstein, Berenstein damn bears. Okay. The Mandela effect is insane. Yeah, there's a ton of those little uh, small the blips. Mon the Monopoly monocle. Dude, I I, the cornucopia. There. You know, I'm off my fast and everything. Living, living a pretty normal, healthy life. And I've had the most bizarre dreams th this week just straight really? up fucking weird but super real like i'm mm, I, like one i was jumping in between bodies and i was like a cab driver and i was like a landlord of like completely different dudes in another country it was fucking bizarre i've never had a dream like that i've always been me in my dreams mm. yeah so uh that was very weird, weird. Yeah. did i tell you about the i had a dream where it was just like we were shopping my family and i and there was a massive meteor in the sky. Like I could see it. I could see the fire. The sky turned red and it was coming down and uh, it, it turned into us like war of the worlds, like leaving the area to try to outrun it. And it just like whoosh, over the entire area. And then I woke up. It was, it was wildly vi like vivid, super, yeah. super vivid. Hmm. I can still see it in the sky. And I think the sun and the magnetosphere it affects our brains. I think that too. And that might affect our dimensions. Because uh, what's going through our brains? A lot of electricity. A lot of electricity. Uh, Dineska is heartbroken that I do not believe in Bigfoot. I want to believe. It's not like I don't want to believe. Uh, Basile. Five seven eight for five dollars. Bigfoot doesn't exist. Native American tribes in the West that required their shamans to separate tribe and wander woods to become shaman. No contact allowed. There's also the Skinwalker too. Those actually existed. As a, as a young child, I loved watching Bigfoot crushing the shit out of cars. I did too. Big Big Raj for five Canadian pesos. What? Six million dollar man in the six million prior Christmas for nine ninety nine. Hello, well there was also Bigfoot and uh, what the hell is the name of that show? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't because it was before you were born. I know about the six million dollar man, Bigfoot and Wild Boy. Thank you, Brothers, Bigfoot so. and Wild Boy. Bigfoot and Wild Boy. Friar Christmas for nine ninety nine. Hello, everyone. Love the show. You should check out small town monsters who look into cryptids and alien encounters in their documentaries. Hail Forbidden Frontier. Hail to you. Hail. I will look at that up. Adam seems like the kind of gentleman I would enjoy a hot bowl of popcorn with by the fire. Be a murder for five Canadian pesos. There you go. Maybe a little snuggling, too. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> While he sleeps in your arms, <laughs> <laughs> give him a little pet on the head. Yeah. Crystal D for four ninety nine. Hello, Crystal. Uh, does anyone know if they had horses at the Moorhead site? Good question. If there was, the horses would have been going crazy. QBG totally agree about Les Stroud. He's the goat. 
Plus Stroud. Hell yeah. I was an offshore fisherman for 10 years. The only weird thing I saw was an aircraft with no lights. Not sure what it was moving kind of fast. It was weird. It says D uh, WMH435 member for one month. And he, and he wants to let everybody know he is Canadian. And I'm very sorry. Stick sex and uh, stick sex and hammer. Six, six, six will be a great guest with the whole playlist of occult topics. I would love to talk. Oh, to yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I love sticks. Control yeah, that would be cool. five British pounds on, on a multitude of subjects. I would love to talk to sticks as a fucking smart dude. Brainy guy, brainy guy. Yep. Check out uh, the mystic mystical underground. I almost said something completely different. A paranormal podcast featuring Rob McGregor, Indy Jones, extended novel author, posted a conversation with Preston Dennett and Dolly Saffron today on YouTube about alien encounters. I would definitely check that. I have some of those. I have a lot of those Indiana Jones books. People got into the EU. I got into Indiana Jones. So John Posey for $20. And uh, do I have any more? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, we do. Uh, I would fight a Bigfoot for X-Ray Girls Love. Wow, Dineska wow. for two euros. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. You don't have to. It's fine. <laughs> um, and then we have some Streamlabs ones as well. Okay. Do you want me to read it or do you want to? I got it. You got, I got it? it? Okay. I put them all uh, in. Zorbu for $25. <laughs> Bigfoot is real. We tried to probe him a few years back. Let's just say I was wearing my ass for a hat for the encounter. Never again, man. Never again. Oh, uh, my big, God. Fucking Bigfoot himself has... Right, yeah, has right donated behind. $25. I'm real. Anyway, here are a few more fun facts about me. First, only mom calls me Sasquatch. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also a Sagittarius who loves woodworking, rainy days, my Gordon Lightfoot 8-track eight soundtrack, and feeding pigeons in the park to wolverines. One more for Bigfoot for $20. I, re I, re I recommend checking out Thinker Thunker videos. He uses measurements, proportions, and ratios to prove I'm real. Also, give the Sasquatch Chronicles Season 1, Episode 3, These Monsters Chasing Me episode on YouTube. Hashtag scary cool. Hell yeah. Nice. Uh, Crit Nature on the Streamlabs side. Two parts for $15. Thank you very much. Hail Forbidden Frontier recently finished Reacher Season 2. It's good, but definitely worse than Season 1. Yeah, it's uh, 7 out of 10 for me. Uh, the one thing that really disappointed me was the uh, Neely said to Reacher at the end, we're more than friends in a Vin Diesel appearance saying, family, it's about family. That didn't bother me as much as just the anticlimactic ending or rushing the ending that they could have stretched out a little more. Uh, I, I blame the book they picked. It's probably not the strongest book. Crit Nature for five more dollars. AJ from the Y Files may, uh, made also a connection to Neanderthals in the last video. What do y'all think about a tribe of them perhaps survive till today? I mean, why not? Like, yeah, like, why not? There are large swaths of the earth we know nothing about. There's a whole island that, that you're not supposed yeah. to go to in the Indian Ocean filled with cannibals. There are tribes who have not uh, made contact with, uh, with you know, their, their hunter-gatherers still on the planet. Right. If you're interested in Bigfoot videos, real or fake, check out the channel Para Breakdown on YouTube. Dude is an expert on cameras and editing software. He's a small channel. Vids are short. The content is A+. plus. Well, then he won't be a small channel, an up-and-coming channel, I like to say, for long. It says Vertigo for $10 on the Streamlab side. Uh, one more from Vertigo for $5. Uh, seven slimy sil sil. Oh man, do you want me to why, say why'd it? you do this? Why yeah, are you uh, trying to give me a stroke, Vertigo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, seven slimy Sicilian sailors solemnly sailed the seven seas. Okay, you're evil for that. <laughs> I know, Fuck the evil <laughs> Matthew Hammond on the Streamlabs side for ten dollars would highly recommend the Culture War on Tenant Media YouTube channel with Jimmy Corsetti. Uh, bright, so yeah, I, I subscribed to it because uh, Eric was on it. Uh, bright insight 
Ben Davidson, suspicious observers talking about the pole shift and uh, resonance vibrations. Uh, I watch everything Jimmy does. Everything Jimmy does. But yeah, I, I, I subscribe to them, the culture war thing. Gary, did you know Ryan Kennel sees me as sort of a father figure? Mostly because Ryan has only ever seen his dad in blurry pictures too. And that's from Big oh. for $20. <laughs> wow. Ah. Wow. <laughs> that's cold. That is cold. brutal. Someone on the Streamlabs side, this is the last one for a dollar. Uh, you should do a collab with Woodward TV. He covers a lot of the same topics as you all do. I want to do a lot more collabs. When it, yeah. And thank you. And thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, we're focused, only 8,000 away from 100K. From wow. 8,000. That's maze balls. Uh, the amount of research. Because I'm just go I'm going off a lifetime of this being a hobby and just remembering a lot of this stuff. And I get it right. I get it right. I get certain things wrong. But I mean, I have the books. Um, I've watched all the videos. I have a thumb drive with every Art Bell episode on it, which I'm going to share with all of you guys. Please. All of you guys. I can put it in Drive. It's it's not huge. I mean, it's all yeah. audio. So, um, and uh, yeah, I'm I putting I'm getting a research library together, and I figure. You know, like we're progressing pretty good on this, but like once we start traveling and get and making videos, it's gonna get busy. Uh, it's gonna get busy. It's gonna get busy. But yeah. that's 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 the plan for this channel, and I will follow through on that plan because, uh, like, this is something I'll you know I'll do the other you know I'm gonna do the main channel the rest of my life too. But this is like, uh, this is like your I, hobby within the hobby hobby within the hobby but i really enjoy this like i really 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 enjoy doing this so yeah it's kind of fun i love i love researching all this stuff and like even if i don't believe like the sasquatch thing it's like i don't think it's really out there but it's really fascinating to look into it and kind of have those conversations of is it possible could it be maybe you know i'm gonna uh, uh, the, that. the snake bros are doing something here locally uh really? luke was telling me yeah so we're gonna i want to go crash it uh, well i i think if it's an event that we pay for i'll pay you know i'll buy a ticket or whatever i gotta look into it i just completely forgot about it but i want to go check it out but yeah there's a full eclipse so i we almost had one we had like the ring of fire thing mm -hmm. that was the first one i'd ever seen in my life and then like now i'm gonna see my very first yeah it's eclipse. coming right through dallas so that's gonna be a good spot right too. down the heart of texas man right down the middle camping that's all that'll be fun it'll be fun it'll be yeah fun. uh there's two more super chats uh, you can read one on, okay we got goat hill on the stream lab side for three dollars says gary you need to read louis lamour's haunted mesa uh he always reminds me and i will read it um and io for 19.99 british you. pounds in the mid 90s in the mountains <laughs> of saudi uh on the red sea coast saw Afar, a top of black triangle glens, a black triangle moving, moving across, across the, sky. the sky was big into military airy models at the time, and they weren't stealth fighters mm. or B 2s or B 2s. Yeah, they are the TR 31B, uh, which is the military thing, or there's the UFO, uh, the Belgium pictures, the Belgium flap, UFO flap of triangles, famous pictures, really good pictures. Something to that for Thanks, sure. Io. Um, do you want to read that, Garrett? No, <laughs> I don't. Garrett want to does read not it. like Bigfoot. No probing. Eric K for two dollars. Always talking about pros, man. It's weird. And specifically, you're probing, by the way. It's just jealous. That's what it is. <laughs> Garrett, what do you got coming up, dude? Uh, we are working on a video for the channel. Yes, Rings we of power. are. No, little I, update. I'm in my. I'm in my video attire right now, so. So uh, I'm working on that video release tomorrow, and then base staff Mondays on Adam's channel later in the day, then normal world Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, MegaCon in Florida. God. We're gonna hang out there. It's gonna be a ton of fun. I can't wait. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna do a nice long uh, road trip, which I always like to do. I haven't done one in a while, so it's about time. 
So hopefully we can meet us. up and kind of caravan. That'd be cool. How long is the drive for you both? Like 18 hours. Ooh. Mine's like 16 and a half to 17. Good luck, Garrett. I've done it before. It's you like know what? Seven. It's pretty much the same amount of time it is to drive to San Diego. Like almost to the minute. It's about the same. Yeah. Wow. We are in the dead center of the country. So yeah. that's kind of cool, though. It is. Uh, it'll be interesting to see the south, like the the because we'll be hugging the coast the whole way down. So yeah, I did it last year. It's it's a good drive. It's a good drive. Yeah, I haven't done that drive. I have not done that drive, so it'll be interesting. I remember going through a Jeremy's home state and just marveling at all the stars and bars that were just proudly <laughs> flying from so many fucking houses. I'm oh, like, yeah. right on, oh, yeah. right, right. <laughs> South will rise again. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's beautiful down there. It's beautiful. Yeah, can't wait. It's gonna be fun. So come out if you're in the area. If you want to make a drive, MegaCon. We got uh, F and T panel and Eric July's got a a booth. And we're going to be well doing family. other stuff. All in the three area. of us will be making appearances at that booth. Yes. That's right. Uh, yeah. Saturday. Saturday. Don't know the time yet. I don't know if they're announcing it. So Yeah, because Sunday I wanted to go to Universal. I want that to be my Universal day. I think, I think Geeks and Gamers will be at the con every single day in some capacity. I think I heard Ryan say that. Yeah. Like Sunday I'll probably won't be there. If I am there, I'll be in the morning. That'd be just the shop. Shopping. <laughs> but I think I, I but that Sunday's like the only real day we have to go to Universal. Universal. Yeah. Like we'll go a little bit at Friday night, but I think we're just gonna go in for like a couple hours and then go at dinner or something. Yeah. So even if you're not gonna buy a ticket to Universal or MegaCon, I think we're still doing other stuff. Yeah. They're uh, supposed to be a meetup that they're, they're gonna announce on. pretty much I think it'll be on you know there. Yeah. They're working so, on a place. But uh, follow yeah. the follow the socials. Follow the socials. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Excellent. And uh, it's not this Friday, but the follow. Well, this Friday, I think we'll be at the normal time. We got to stop. We have a hard stop because uh, yes. going to Rob Schneider, but um, definitely the following Friday, it's going to be Friday night tights in the morning. Yeah. So <laughs> Friday morning tights. It'll be yeah. Friday morning tights. Friday morning tights. Doesn't have the same ring to it, but uh, can't miss the show. But we have to do it much earlier because that we have tons of plans. Stuff, tons of stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm. I haven't drank in like three weeks. Miss. No, neither is my wife. That's oh. gonna be fucking nuts. Because I both can't wait you to are hang gonna, out after with your you. dry Januarys. You're gonna like. <laughs> have, you're gonna hit the shots like you'd never took a month off, and it's gonna be uh, something to behold. It's gonna be fun. Or, or I'll be holding. I some. mean, you know, I, I, I'm staying <laughs> with uh, yeah. Kara and her probably. husband. Yeah. So her husband's a big dude. I'll be fine. It's all good. I'll be holding hair up. <laughs> That's the way it goes. I can't wait to have drunk talks with uh, <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> all right. Hey, thanks, everyone. Thanks to the Mod Roddix. You did a thanks. wonderful job as usual. And uh, also, uh, thanks to everyone who left a super chat and donation. You help keep the lights on around here, and we will see you next After Sunday. the super chat. One more, one more, one more. No, Sorry. After, go. Okay. Webman for $3. Elephant on Acid. I saw that movie. I think it was called Dumbo. Ah! Hey, that's a great, great <laughs> that movie. Was good. That was a good movie. one. Thank you. Catch you see later. Guys. Bye. Bye. Nerdverotic.com. Welcome, travelers, to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier.